welcome back to Sarah's table. Pew, pew, pew. Finger guns. Pew, pew. <laughs> Sorry, breaking this already. We get sound effects too. Pew, pew, pew. pew. Yeah. Uh, hi. Yeah. Well, so, well, poor Jeff. <laughs> I'll just be like, <laughs> my, my partner is my editor and I'll just be like, no, it's fine. We'll just put in a bunch make of stuff. It, make it sound really cool. Just make it like real cool sound effects. Cool. Add cool. lasers. More lasers. More lasers. During Christmas, <laughs> we all joked about it during one of the Christmas episodes, and he was grumpy about it, but he sure did, like, put in fancy moving parts in the overlays because we had all joked about it. And, I love it. And then I was like, just, I'm no, it's, sorry. Just do it, please. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> anyway, hi, I'm Sarah Moore. My pronouns are she, her. And uh, today I'm going to be your game master and your favorite person i'm going to remind you to have some water because i guarantee that you are dehydrated very like you weren't till you said it huh mm -hmm. you weren't till she said it and now here we are and now you have to it is um the snack you need to live uh water <clears throat> um it is very cold here where i live today it is uh seven below on its way up to a balmy two degrees so um i hope everybody is is bundled up cozy not not Gemma. Gemma is very Ooh. warm she mm. has stolen Color. all of the warmth <laughs> from at a, at a it's not her fault it's axial tilt <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault okay i'm just stuck facing the consequences of living in australia okay so all right you guess. know what i'll let you have it this once this one thank you thank you um, My penance is I have to deal with spiders. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Um, uh, today we are playing a game called Perils and Princesses. I just received my copy from the Kickstarter. Uh, it is a beautiful, beautiful book. Uh, and it's so pretty and so pink. And I'm very excited about it. Um, do, 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 do. Written and illustrated and designed by Ryan Lynch. Everything in here is beautiful. Go pick it up. We're going to show you how great it is today. Uh, but before we dive into all of the fun, I'm going to do a quick safety discussion because I think that is really important as a responsible uh, game master and player at the table and just human being in general. Uh, here on Sarah's table, you will never find sexual violence, violence against children, or withholding food as punishment or starvation. Is there anything else you guys would like to avoid at the table today? Fighters. Spiders. Yeah, I no knew spiders. you were going to say it. I knew you were going to say it. But you know what? All good. No spiders here Legit. on Sarah's yeah. table. Yeah. Legit. Um, Perfect. Yeah. So uh, if if we wander into a territory where you all discover a new fear that you did not think you had <laughs> until today, um, you can uh, throw up a physical X. Very easy to see here in our Zoom screens. Or you can message me in the Zoom chat or in whatever chat that you and I had been talking in. And we'll just uh, mulligan it. Turn another direction, no questions asked. Um, I did the thing again where I just said to my players, just show up at this time and told them nothing. I think it's going to be the thing that I do forever now. Uh, so I, I'm I kind of love it. Like, it's great. I'm going to go around the table. I'm going to have you introduce yourself, um, who you are playing today. I would love to hear your pronouns and maybe just the tiniest bit of like how you ended up here at my table. Um, I'm going to start with Ansel. Hi, I'm Ansel. Uh, my pronouns are he, him, and I will be playing Princess Arabella today. Um, I have the good fortune of having met Sarah and become friends and then be gotten embroiled in all of the madness that is Sarah's life. And I could not be happier about it. <laughs> uh, if I could get embroiled in more of her madness, I would. Um, Let's do it. Tr truly, truly the delight and joy of meeting Sarah through natural causes and then getting into all of this. Yeah. Um, so I think I, I think honored. we met in previous lifetimes when we were both working at the museum. Of yeah. Science and Industry. We, we both met at work. Yeah. 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 Wild. What a not great job that that was. Meeting people at work. That's such an atavistic way of going about it. It's I, it really so is. Really. It's so mm. strange. Mm. Work related trauma. Mm. <laughs> it was Delicious. a great job in some ways. <laughs> yeah. It's a great place to visit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't want to live. I there. think 
we've all had those places. Like, it's a great place as long as you're not working there. Yeah. <laughs> the Come inside on. does not match the outside. <laughs> but not That's in a fun Mary Poppins bag sort of way. No, no, no. Oh, we're doing like a Doctor Who big on the inside, like mm. cool, spacey wacy. It's just unfortunate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The doors don't lead to happy places. Let me tell you that. Oh, sweetie. <laughs> We're going to unpack that trauma later. It's going to be yeah. good. <laughs> and get a beautiful friendship form yeah, from the ashes. Sometimes, oh, it was, like yeah. a phoenix, we <laughs> rise. Um, I'm, I'm going to spin over to a uh, new friend, Christian. You are the yes. newest of the friends here. That I, I am. I am. Well, I am very, very happy to be here. We're glad to be here. Uh, I am Christian. Also go by the name League Season. Uh, sort of everywhere my pronouns are uh, he, him. I met Sarah recently when we both participated in a fundraiser on um, AJ Winter's channel. We played in a game together uh, where Sarah played a very uh, cuddly minotaur barbarian. And I played a character who died, I think, in the second round of combat. And so, you know, it was what it was. And um, yeah, I was very glad to uh, that you reached out and invited me I to did. This. I did get my character did hug yours yep. before you died. Yep, and there was there was a moment there. There was we it's shared very, a moment. It's very sweet. It was, it was a this is huggy. Yeah, huggy. I really delight in playing in games that the playmat runs because he wants to run really edgy, dark, serious storylines, and I'm like, ah, my ah. character loves love, <laughs> and I want to hug everyone, and I want to bring joy. And he's like, I don't know what to do with you. <laughs> I would like, like to you've solve seen this Care problem Bears, with right? sparkles. Exactly. <laughs> The power you need that, of friendship, you know? actually. Beep, 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 beep. That that little that little bit of love and life <laughs> makes the darkness so much edgier and darker. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's just, no edginess without love. That's right. It's like it how comes. even cakes need a little bit of salt to bring the sweetness out. It's that there I'm the salt mm-hmm. of the edge world. <laughs> that's salt your new tagline. The, the salt world. of the edge world. That's I'm just gonna that's put new... that on a t-shirt. Someone embroider this. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> on tea towels. <laughs> Adding that to my reasons to buy an embroidery machine. There what it is. The salt of the, what was it? The salt of, edge? of the edge of world. The edge world. <laughs> the salt of the edge world. Oh, I'm making that a thing. <laughs> That's it. You've done I've this. Got Canva and Redbubble. We can have that. That's right. Uh, <laughs> by the afternoon. By, by the this end of the show. It. By the end of the show, we're distributing these. <laughs> it's going to be out. <laughs> I'll send the link out. You can Everybody share it. Everybody make to... stickers. Mwah, mwah, stickers. Mwah. Um, and uh, who are you playing today, my dear? I am playing Princess Rosemary of Daydream Meadows, uh, a very dedicated um, artist of the kitchen. Love it. Yep. I'm so excited. Or... I just want, like, I have to tell you, because it is birthday time there's so much cake in my kitchen right now and so <laughs> i just like you were like of the kitchen and i was like we should bake something and i was like no sarah no wait a minute <laughs> well, my, my, ta- oh, my talent is baking so i know i know it's good you can make cake pops out of stale cake yes you can yeah how do i know that because i botched some cupcakes and they sat in my fridge for too long and now i'm turning them into cake pops so it can be done I would argue okay. that's the ideal way to make cake pops. Yeah, yeah. yeah don't use fresh cake. It, it seems like a waste oh, to go bake. This the whole is some cake. old. This is some old cupcakes. This that is just some, need some extra buttercream, and you get that mm-hmm. in there. Oh man, nothing but these butter are, cream can't fix. These can are cupcakes pause? that could be used as weapons. <laughs> can we pause the recording so I can go eat some cake? Yeah, <laughs> so just real quick. <laughs> You can bring you can bring the cake on stream. I encourage this is a this is a cake zone. <laughs> right here. I, cake I, closet I here. It's not my birthday, so I don't have any cake, Sarah. So thank oh, you for man. twisting that knife and that. I, quick, how do we what? how do we express ship cake? Yeah, yeah so. we can make this happen. So, so do you guys have Uber Eats up there? Can I <laughs> This is Canada, not Siberia. <laughs> no man. The way you were Even talking about winter, it might this. be Siberia. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. They have specialists for going outside. Yes. Oh. <laughs> are they, the delivery costs on my end are going to be are extreme? Are they cake specialists? <laughs> like, I don't this know. is for all of the 
delivering cake in frozen temperatures. Em- emergency <laughs> cake. Emergency yeah, we do have cake. like uh, Dairy Queen stuff like that. So, you know, we do have the frozen what cake. Was, on them. What was your favorite part of the stream? I liked when they talked about cake deliveries. Yeah. <laughs> I don't it know. Was it was sweet. really weird. It was like 45 minutes, which was weird. Um, But like <laughs> seemed seemed like everybody was really into it. I don't ha- I don't get how it fit into the game, but. You know. Things like this. There That's are many layers. Mission. There are many layers. layers. Like a layer cake. That's right. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. Well, finger guns. All right. Gemma, bring us home after that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did you come to me to ground us again? Wrong person for that job. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't know what I was thinking. <laughs> You fool! Hello, I am a Gemma or G of D. I'm a TV presenter here in Australia, and I am playing Princess Fern of, let me get my uh, cap sheet back, of Mossy Hollow, who is the closest to a druid I'll probably ever get to play in a TTRPG. Uh, but yeah, my pronouns are she, her. Uh, and I, I feel really bad that I don't remember exactly how we met Sarah, because I feel like it was one of those, like, ships passing in the night, and then I'm just like, oh yeah, Sarah's like, my friend and that's just how it's always been and i've always known sarah decided. so this is just it this is we are yeah linked. what do you mean when we met we were created in the same like Spo- we didn't we just spawned out of the same yeah when you fully met formed. <laughs> fully formed World yeah War. there they are that's Obviously. it as two complete individuals at exactly this age uh just spawned but i feel like it was one of i feel like it was either a gary con game mm-hmm. or mm. Maybe AJ, possibly an AJ I, game. Could, could have been Dag. It might have been Dag, actually. No, I think you are right. It might. Was it the frog episode? Oh, when I, when if we had like an unbroken ten minute conversation with a frog. Yeah, I think that might have that might have yeah. been it. Okay, that feels, put, that feels like my back. brand of ridiculousness. <laughs> 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 we were just talking about frog. All right. Paul Sarah, familiar, she'll talk to you. Spent, sure. Yeah, spent a full like in a ten minute dialogue, the most interesting frog I've ever had the pleasure of conversing with, <laughs> thanks to Dag. <laughs> Excellent. Frogs uh, and cakes. Frogs and cakes. That's the theme of today's episode. Let's go. Oh, we are princesses. <laughs> That's right. It, it makes a lot of sense. Um, so you're today... supposed to kiss the frog and eat the cake, not the other way around. I did it wrong. Hey, don't let your dreams be dreams. We but... can make this happen. We don't but... keep dreams. I feel good about it. I feel like it was the right way to go. So <laughs> I'm, I'm ready. Let's yeah. tell that story next the time. Frog was that it, came so. about. Yeah, the Man. frog loved it. Let me tell you what. We're it was fine. a themed party. It was a cake shaped like a frog. Fancy dress party. Um, As all parties should be. Hi. Mm-hmm. Hi, friends. Um, Hi. Hello. So you have your character sheets in front of you. Uh, yes. I have I have them here printed out. They're so uh, pretty because Whoa. they're just oh, very that's pretty. Um, mm. And uh, it, they're pretty self explanatory. I think we have we have three stats: resolve, grace, and wits. Um, uh, resolve is anything uh, sort of taking the place of of both like will and charisma, sort of like whatever it is that you your your force of of will your force of self um you, grace is anything that is physical and wits is anything that is mental uh i encourage you all if i am calling for a check and do you think your character would handle it with a different skill please advocate for yourself i may say no if it's like i'd like to jump across this chasm and you're like what if i use my wits uh, <laughs> i don't i don't know that that's going to help a lot like you could try might be the much mental better. calculation i, I, I can the see the math <laughs> i get it i could maybe see it uh if i am if you, if you have a an excellent kind of argument but you know calculate the trajectory and then i'm gonna build yeah. an elaborate what if mechanism i play the to- math gif like gif gif oh my gosh i'm gonna pull this gate thing gif there we go got there got there, there you go there it is. The equations flying past my mind. I love it. Um, it might take too long. And while you are doing that, you might get attacked by something. But mm. I want you to be as authentic as you can. Um, <laughs> you also have you have a list of talents and you have a list of 
items that you are carrying with you. And if you can use any of those talents or items, you get to roll with advantage. And we are looking for low numbers here today, which I know is the opposite, even though you're using a D20. Um, so you're trying to roll as low as possible. We're looking for golf scores. That's what we're going with. Everyone knows princesses love golf. I assume that's why they put it in. Mm-hmm. It's right here in my talents list. Yeah, I see it. Golf. It's here. The mm-hmm. best at golf. Or along just, with foraging and hunting. Just loves golf, but is bad at it. Unclear. We'll find out with how the dice are going today. Forget whatever you had written. We're all playing golf now. Everybody <laughs> is right. in. It's the can Great British Bake Off meets golf. Uh listen, I yes. need to <laughs> I need to do a quick shout out to my friends who are over at um, CU Adventures in Time and Space, because this year at Gen Con, this past year, they did an escape room that was um, mini golf themed, and you played mini golf. You played different holes oh. to, to get through the escape room. I was like, I too have felt like needing to escape when someone suggested mini golf, but not to use it as a way to escape. I do like that. And and you, and what was amazing about it was that you went in as character archetypes. So I played a rogue, and because rogues had have daggers, my golf club was this long, <laughs> <laughs> and so I had to bend over real quick. It was great. Listen. I and they are in the process of putting in 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 permanent. If everybody, if anyone ever makes it down to um, Champaign Urbana, which is in the is central Illinois, uh, please please go to it because it's dope. well. Now I have to book a flight, Great. so thanks a bunch. Let well, me just, we'll take a pause. Uh, you know, like you'll go get some cake. Gemma will book a flight. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be great. Awesome. Um, today I'll we find are playing. Something, yeah. yeah, you can do something. We'll we'll figure. I, yeah. Well, we haven't found yours yet. When we do, though, that's when we'll take that break. The bit will come. Don't worry. It's gonna be there. Um, today we are playing an adventure called the Rosewood Crown, hmm. and they wrote just the most lovely beginning of the story, and I'm gonna tell it to you right now. Once upon a time, there was a princess named Alicia who ruled over the humble village of Willowbrook, nestled amidst the lush embrace of the forest. The villagers of Willowbrook revered Princess Alicia. She was their guardian. Her rosewood crown, a gift from her fairy godmother, gave her the ability to channel the powers of nature and protect the villagers from harm. But even in the most enchanting of tales, darkness has a way of slithering into the hearts of the unsuspecting. A cruel conjurer, Velisar, preyed upon the princess's kindness. He stole the crown for his own nefarious purposes and broke her heart. Vanishing into the depths of the forest, the sorcerer left no trace behind, leaving the princess bereft, her heart heavy with sorrow. Ages passed, and the crown was forgotten. The only relic of Princess Alicia is a moss-covered statue in the town square, with Alicia's mournful likeness carved in stone a princess without a crown. Now the three of you find yourself in Willowbrook from your other, you know, your own kingdoms. You have come here. uh, And I believe that the three of you know each other probably pretty well. I think that this is not the first adventure that you have gone on together. Um, And I would love to take just a moment to find out from the three of you how you know each other. What was the last adventure that the three of you did? I feel like despite the uh, really playing Princess Fern is very much the uh, uh, <laughs> Steve Irwin of her kingdom. Yes. <laughs> very yes. much like just crash tackling crocs, just crash tackling bears. <laughs> Just going at it, just absolute, just <laughs> ham-fisted attempts at uh, animal control. Uh, mm-hmm. So I feel like that for the last time you would have seen Princess Fern was just like absolutely just bear hugging some wild animals. Maybe there was like a some kind of um, outbreak in the kingdom that needed wrangling. <laughs> Do you Which think it might have been at like a, a state event? Oh, and that's what brought us all together. And Mm. then we solved whatever 
infestation came up at the the event. I was. Could it I be was... some kind of circus? Heck yeah! Heck yeah! Escaped circus animals, absolutely. I was uh, manning at the little stand where I served my uh, well-known fried knuckleberry pies and, uh, mm. at, at, you know, like uh, all that super deep fried food that they serve at those Heck places. And, yes. Yeah. And that's why I got I got sort of uh, embroiled in your shenanigans. Um, Arabella, what do we know about your your prince system? Like, what, what is your... Okay, so Fern yeah. is the wilderness mm -hmm. princess. I'm sort of the kitchen princess. What what, what princess are you? Well, uh, Arabella is from Starlight Cove, and she comes from a sailing background. Mm. Uh, but I think you probably know her from at that same event where you were selling your knuckleberry pies. I think Princess Arabella was trying to get in on the circus time and juggling on horseback. Oh, Fancy. Sick. Arabella is a very uh body uh inhabiting princess. She's she's very agile and mobile and and constantly doing stuff. And maybe uh, a little so bit I of think, a pirate? Uh, she's got like a little pirate vibe to her. I think in the right situation, uh, with the right pressures, Arabella might have become a, a straight up pirate. <laughs> she could be convinced to yar. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. A yar could happen. If <laughs> this is how we form our own band of princesses. We become pirates. <laughs> That's right. And hey. we work on the ship. Hey, <laughs> that totally it. works. I have a Pirate tendency. <laughs> what can I say? It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> but Arabelle also loves dancing and tumbling. And uh, so, yeah, she's she's a very uh, athletic princess. All right. Perfect. So I was brought on for animal conservation and welfare, making sure all the animals like well looked after on their trips <laughs> through the circus because okay. treat your animals with respect and kindness, the love of goodness. Absolutely. And something went oh, wrong. Me. So help me, I will crash tackle you. <laughs> and something went I'm just here to make amiss. sure everyone is well fed. Yes. It's really important. <laughs> you are probably the most popular person. Uh, probably, um, yeah. I, I would, I would think so. Oh, and I, I pull snacks. goodies in my my apron as these big pockets in the front. With I always have goodies that I pull out. I never know exactly what they're going to be, but you know, I love it. Got a trade off mm -hmm. going between fern and fern and rosemary. Where it's like sneaky you pine cones in exchange for like the <laughs> cutest little cupcakes. Mushrooms, bring me mushrooms. You can yeah. make a lot of things Aww. with mushrooms. I'll get you whatever you want. What forage you from want, the forest? You've got it. Foraging is one of uh, Fern's special talents, so I think there's a there's mm. trade to be done. Excellent, because I'm also a brewer, so I'm, I'm guessing that make some Fern ale, probably, make some mead. Yeah. Uh, if you can bring me some honey, I'll, 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 oh, yeah. I'll, I'll keep you well fed. Wrangle, wrangle it. From I will the bring bees. you anything you want, whatever you need. You keep this belly fed. Just, We're good. I have no this image of. Me of Fern like banging on Rosemary's door in the middle of the night, like, like holding some kind of animal and being like, can you, is this helpful? Can you use this? <laughs> it's biting me. <laughs> like, um, is this food? I don't is this, know. Yes. So what, Fern, what have we talked about? If it's alive, <laughs> if it's alive. I, vegetarian, but like, could you use something from it? Like, is this like an option? Does this, I to I do that part. Does this secrete something that you can <laughs> yeah. use in your... Burn? That's a Maybe it'll like taste uh -oh. better? I don't know. What happens when you squeeze this? Is this Yeah, what does this do? Oh, icky. Gross. That's... Yeah. Well, no, it's I'll, green. I'll clean it up. I'll clean no, it up. You. Don't worry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, I pull out my rag from... Yeah. From my, my apron. I've got it. Don't Just worry about it, dear. I've got it. like a, a badger. <laughs> Just squeeze like an accordion. Is that, is that like a marmot? <laughs> angry, just <laughs> snarling, hissing ball of some kind hey, of. Hey, 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 hey! What do we talk about? No hissing. Stop it. Naughty. Put you down. <laughs> Remember, for an if it can eat you, you probably don't want to be eating it. Mm. I thought it was if it can eat me. Challenge accepted. Was that not what we did? Oh, oh, that's okay. what I said. Yes. I thought, okay, this is what, we've got to get the message across here. Like, Arabella we'll just crash tackle it. like swings in on a rope. <laughs> it's like, no, no. <laughs> Every Jeez. time. Every time she keeps doing that. No, like, I love it. Like, make an entrance. We've got to get you, like, little potty poppers or something. Like, really make it razzle-dazzle. Sorry, that. I just, I got, conf I got excited about these beams. 
It's pretty cool. No, beams look, here. hey, it's very I beams. get it. Beams are exciting. And so is the amount of bees that are probably up there. Watch out for that. They will sting you. Duly noted. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. High okay. places. Either, I was kidding. Because I put them oh, right. there. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm the one who put them there. I know there are a lot because I keep- They're there for honey purposes. Yeah. yeah, honey. Save the bees. <laughs> Save the bees. Actually, so that would be great making to have homes. bees in your loft. Hell yeah. 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 Have, have like on purpose. Start shimminging up the pole to try and get the honey out of, <laughs> out of the combs. Pictures of- uh, Pictures of Winnie the Pooh in my head getting his, his snout stuck in the the jar. But so yeah. happy because there's so honey happy. in there. Hey, Don't even worry about good. it. Don't worry about it as long as there's no spiders. Right. No spiders. Oh, no, you've out. been very good yeah. about clearing the spiders out. Um, I'll, just, I'll just to say hey. that that's how we met. <laughs> All <of this. laughs> oh, yeah, we're still doing Someone the had to get the spiders out of the cookery. Yeah. yeah, it was definitely, I value all animal life. All life is precious. Spiders, I might just happen to let that slide. Do they count as animals? We don't know. Do they, they count as too precious many life? Not Very to alien. me. Very too alien. many knees. Too many knees. Too, too many, many eyes. <laughs> not enough soul. Oh. Get them like out of that. there. Maybe I've also never seen need a that on a t-shirt. How wonderful. Yes. Let me add it to the list. Hang on. So hang on. We've got, <laughs> we've got salt it. of the edge too world. Too, too many knees. knees too not many enough soul. Too many knees. Not enough soul. I'm going to have a list of quotes to embroider on cushions it. by the end of this. I love it. So at the yeah, end, uh, at the end of the day, the, the three of you, you've been, it, it was actually like a really lovely day. Very chill here in wild, in, in Willowbrook. Like mm. you got to just hang out. You got to see the sights. I believe that you, you think that you are just passing through on your way to another place and um, you bed down for the night. If, and, uh, if yes. I may, is if Willowbrook used to be the home of a princess, is there a castle here and who's in charge? Are we staying with them? So there is a castle here. It is abandoned. Oh, um, they do not have a princess in town at, at the moment. Mm. Guys, it's a fixer the upper. Taken a I'll say now the spiders have definitely taken over the place. Like I'm going to have to tell you there was a request for no spiders. <laughs> so thanks. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Exactly. It's okay. I, I'm, I'm, I'm perfectly fine in the imaginary world. Uh, imaginary okay, I'm, I'm just saying happen. like we don't want to get too far down this because then then real yeah. spider consequences will be happening. Wait, so let's let's let me add it to the list. Hang on. Real spider consequences are happening. That's going on a cushion. We um, looked at it and thought there weren't be might be spiders, but turns out there weren't. Great! Yay. Look at that. It's um, some uh, other awful thing. So you're you're getting ready to end for the night, and um, you've been overhearing things during the day about strange things happening in the area, um, like a whole field of crops rotted prematurely while they were growing. It's gonna be bad for the crows. Um. Also, there's not a lot of animals here. That's bad for me. Yeah, like, like you would normally see a lot of deer. You would see a lot of rabbit. Um, there just, like, aren't any. There are no stray cats. Like, there are no stray dogs. There are no squirrels. Uh, and it's a little unsettling. And as... And, you find yourself asleep. You don't remember going to sleep, but you are asleep and you are That's sharing. Bad yes, also bad. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. All this bad. <laughs> um, and you share a dream between Very the three bad. of you. You see a princess, uh, tall, very sad looking with golden hair and no crown. And she is standing at the edge of the forest and and beckoning you to follow her. Mm -mm. Follow her. Mm -mm. Arabella's like, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Just hugging the imaginary wall, like mm, I've seen enough of these. I've seen enough of these. Mm -mm. Do we see each other. Do we, do we see each other in that dream also? You see each or, other, yes. Or we all have our own. Okay. Um, this is this is very strange and so 
I think Rosemary will do what uh, she always does when things are very strange. She will uh, reach into her apron pocket and pull out a handful of cookies and start distributing them to people. That's uh, right. We always Burn think is better blooming. on a on full stomach and a little bit of sugar will will give us a bit of energy. So, uh, 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 Rosemary, 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 I'm so glad you're here. I'll turn I'm her so up briefly for here. a cookie, but I'm I'm still going with this. She looks. I'll, I'll lob it to you. <laughs> Don't forget your cookie. Thank you. Okay, just let us know if it's safe. I guess just be okay. careful, please. Um, Arabella, I just gotta give me see a, what's in here. Give me a wits roll. Let's see if you recognize this woman. All right, and that's going to be with the d twenty, yeah. Yes. All right, and you are wanting to roll low. Roll below I got your a number. Seven, and my wits rank is nine. Great. Hey. Um. Yeah. You know what? You know how sometimes when you have a dream, you just like know who a certain person is oh yeah this is princess alicia who used to be the princess here in willowbrook ages from the ago. statue from the statue dun, dun, dun. <laughs> i know this guy she's she's beckoning you deeper she must into be the cool forest. they made a statue made a statue um and you have did anyone else go into the forest well, so I'm I'm slip I'm gonna slip Fern a second cookie because I always keep an extra one for Fern. I thank know. you, thank you, thank you so much. Do, you good do, over do there? You should, do you think we should follow her? Um, so far, I, so good. Like I, are we bad friends if we don't? Like I, just, mm, I mean, if we all go together, nothing will make you a bad friend. Oh, that's really so. You're cool if I stay here then? Yes. Oh come on, Fern. Meals I'll are always shout if it's ba- if it's bad. Meals are always much better me, when they're or if it's good shared. and you should come. Oh, uh, peer pressure. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Just hold my hand. Hold my hand. Look, I'll I'll take I'll take her hand. I'll pat it. Come on, Fern. Come on, Fern. We can do this. Come on. If I get eaten, it's your fault. I love that. I'm glad you're coming. That I'll Fern has no problem with tack- tackling an alligator, but does not want to walk into the woods. That's spooky different. Forest, yeah. This is spooky forest. I can see the bear. This okay. is creepy words. Creepy I words. Can, I get it. Um. Once a for once a bear shows up in the spooky forest. Oh yeah, then it's all, then we're going. Let's go, bear hug. The woods start to shift around you and it feels like the landscape underneath you is almost folding underneath itself to make sure that you are moving quickly and you are following this woman and she steps into a clearing at the base of the largest tree that you have ever seen right in the center of the forest. And she touches the outside of it, looks back at you, and then disappears under the roots. Mm. And the three of you wake up together in like a cold sweat. <gasps> nope, not hated that, not bad. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Are, are we waking up together or are we waking up separately? Oh, good question. Are Ooh. you, uh, you wake up at the same time are you staying all together in Willowbrook on your travel? I don't see why not. I don't think we're yeah, all necessarily we sharing a bed, but I think we're probably all living in, in the same yeah. in the same space. Yeah. Then yeah, you I wake up without yeah, having like inn, any I think animal. We probably yeah. 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 I think Fern's <sighs> a bit put off by there's no animal like companions that she can have, so she's very much sticking to people like her her herd her group. Just... Well, that was strange. Yeah. Uh, I'll put Mm-mm. the kettle on. I gotta go Thanks. see that tree. Why Hold is on, your Arabella. why is your first reaction to go find a spooky thing? I just I'm just curious. I, I'm sorry. Do you do you get visions of an important thing led by a princess and not go check them out? I, I oh no, all the time, go, and then I walk the stomach. other way. I Look, I just I, feel like I would, we would be betraying <laughs> fate <laughs> not to going. follow this up. I'm just saying, fate hasn't always led people in the best directions. And I don't know, I want like a handwritten invitation rather than like weird telepathy. I I can understand that. I can understand that. But I mean, I wouldn't want to go without you. You can handle everything, Fern. Not when it's weird telepathy, but I like where your head's at and flattery will get you everywhere. <laughs> so you're right. I and Let's besides, just see if we can figure out where we, where we need to go first. This place is so sad yeah. without... Without the animals and without uh, a princess, I think that if we have an opportunity to um, milk and sugar in your tea, uh, yes, if yes, we have please. the opportunity to help, 
uh, in any way, shape, or form. I, I think we should take it. Um, here are your. I, I, I made some um, some little cinnamon buns. Um, oh, I, I, you're I just sweetie. whipped them up really quickly, so you know they may not be up to you. My usual. Uh, Standard, oh no no, no. But, hang on. Uh, what can I what can I um a phone is gonna pull out um a little jar of like homemade uh like little jams and honeys from like her foraging thing and just like you know yes. the next well, those are so good. the next yes, batch. Man. Yeah, yeah. No, the bees were really nice. They're real good about it. I will say though, like it is historically animals are the first ones to sense danger. If they're not here, they booked it. And well, that's probably for that's good exactly reason. what I'm worried about. Whatever's in that tree might be the solution oh. and who better to handle it than us i mean my well, fairy I could godmother think of probably came to about me in 15 a dream 20 other people then there's been good there's rorik the the barbarian uh there's also uh oh, don't forget Timothy. yes absolutely yeah. um but they're not here true enough um uh, let me just make a good uh, point. let me just whip up something a little lunch for us to take uh on the road just just five minutes and no, um, no, I, sw I wouldn't. I swear, you just, you, I, I feel like I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached. If you weren't here right now, I feel like you've got our, you've got our backs with this, and more importantly, our stomachs. Okay, so like, did you get any idea, Arabella, of that where the tree? Like, I don't even know where that tree is. Spooky forest aside, I haven't seen any trees that big. Is there a tree that big behind me? Is it actually like really obvious? And I'm just not seeing it. I mean, I haven't seen it, but I mean, step one is find the spooky forest. But I mean, maybe that should be like hard to most of these ones. We could probably ask if there's a spooky forest around. The people of someone's the area gonna will know. certainly know. Yeah. Oh yeah. Can you imagine Wait, the size of the little fruit kids and legends. that must grow on that tree? This I tavern mean, is untouched also untouched woodland. Juicy and beautiful. This tavern is also probably the tallest building in town. If we can get up on the roof, we might be able to see like the one tree that's. Oh, you know, taller done. than the other ones. Well, this princess ain't climbing anywhere. already, anywhere, like, so. lent out the window and is trying to, like, see if there's, like, a ledge you can grab from the window position. I would love for you to give me a grace roll. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fern, much like myself, not a graceful creature. Let's see. Ooh, yeah. We, oh, hang on, hang on. We're aiming low, right? Yes, that's fine. You mean I love. keep being like, oh, no, love is bad. That's six. My six? grace is ten. You did great. Listen, it's like... Yeah! It's like this was you're very used to scrambling up trees and like you were just able to find the hand and footholds and you as soon as it was suggested, <laughs> you just scurried up the side like a jungle cat and you <laughs> got yourself and you were on the roof. It is not a There's flat like, roof. It is a it is a slope. thatched. It is a thatched angled roof. Um Oop. Hang on, uh, excuse me. Oop, if excuse you me. are not careful uh, where you step, you might be going through the thatch. So just, Ooh, boy. but you're up there and you can look around. <laughs> I'll pay for any damages with the money I don't have. Ugh. I think there's like I'll a breath pay for of, kind of pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Arabelle will pay for any damages with the money she does have. Um, I think there's like a breath of like fresh, like a, a bit of a relief from not being kind of inside as soon as that like night air touches her skin. There's this kind of sense of freedom that kind of comes with being able to like stretch out in nature, even if there is like a threat on the mm. loose. And I think I, I uh, Fern won't particularly like kind of uh, be too methodical with her sweeping. It's more just like a uh, an open scan first to take in the sites, and then she'll start to hone in on any landmarks that are important. Well, you can see the castle that has been abandoned. Looks like it's in disrepair. It's creepy i mean it really looks like it has it must have been you know maybe a hundred years like it's been it's been a very long time uh <clears throat> and you can see the forest and the outskirts of the forest look pretty nice and then it it just looks like a more concentrated dark the further that you get into it and there is something Hooray. cresting that you can see but it's almost shrouded like by something hard to tell what it is but you can't you can see that there's something there but you can't make out details six 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 yeah that's definitely what she was talking about okay all right that's great it uh, is at this moment that the roof gives way and you fall back into your room <laughs> <laughs> oh my spleen. Oh, okay. 
Could have been did, better. Could have been more graceful. You're what right? did you do, Fern? What did you do? Yeah, Help Fern up. I, I didn't. I didn't do anything. The roof did it. I'm good. I'm good. I'm just gonna dust myself oh, off. Hold on. Just just turn around. Take my my rolling pin oh, and just yeah. Kinda... What's up? Up and down the back oh, a little bit with the wrong pin. Cracking back oh, into yeah, the yeah. joints. Is that it? Is that, the, oh. is that the right place? Yeah. All right. Mm, uh, mm, that was it. That good, was it. Thank you thinking, so much. Good thinking, Rosemary. Okay. So, uh -huh. <laughs> good news. Hey. It's a beautiful view. Mostly. Bad news. Don't love that you like right. with that. <laughs> yeah, I know. I wanted to start positive, but then I had to like get back to the basics. Uh, bad news. Super creepy forest. Got some super creepy stuff going on. It's like a dark that's darker than dark, just like sitting around the edges. And then a lot of it sitting in one confined space. So I'm betting that's our magic tree. Well, it sounds very compelling as far as arguments go. Um, how long do you think it will take us to reach that place? Uh, I mean, it's hard to tell on foot. A couple of days, that? probably. Talking oh, to the well, voice in my head says a couple of days, probably. Then I need <laughs> to make foot, it in unless food. we can. Sorry, what? I'm just caught up. What happened? What did you say? Uh, what if we could find horses? I mean, yeah, I mean, that would speed things up. Horses, food, love both these things. I... Not necessarily together, but I'm keen. Yeah, don't confuse the two, generally. No, no. They're friends, not food. But yeah, yeah if we can find, like, some horses, a carriage, get some food together, Rosemary, that's yours. Because if I cook, we're all going to be screwed. So... I'm here to I'm here I'm here to get a get get the lay of the land. But yeah, it could take us hopefully a bit less time as long as nothing happens in the meantime. But let's be real spooky forest, something's gonna happen in the meantime. All right. Well, yeah. I think I have enough supplies for us to get there, she says, as you see this huge mound of <laughs> somehow How you just you, manifested it's a like mound. It's like the camera of... panned away and then panned back, and yeah. there was a huge just I hell's kitchen. We, I hope we have enough, but if if we don't, uh, I'll, I'll be sure I'll, I'll be able to. Uh, well, with your forging skills, Fern, uh, I'm sure we'll be able to. Um, man oh, oh, oh! Um, I What's did up? forget. I, I did forget, and goes in the back. You hear cling, cling, bang, bang, ting, tong, tong, tong. I just said, back, like, how does she do that?" Comes I back have with no like idea. three little cupcakes. The, these are the, these are travel cupcakes. There, I know they're, for they're sure you need an oven for that. Yeah, I don't know how she's doing. Is it like magic hands? Go magic hands. A real baker never tells. Yeah. See, I like she, that about uh, you. I appreciate I like these little that. these little cupcakes with like little uh, little scenery on them, like little little horses, uh, you know, traveling around and in the far distance and all that. These are travel cupcakes that will give you uh, a lot of energy uh, to to get going and get on that road and. Uh, Go get what it is you're after. Um, th there's a little bit of mint in it. I hope that's okay. Oh my God, they're perfect. <laughs> this is so, I feel like I couldn't even, I, like, this is so beautiful. Are you sure it's okay to eat this? This is like I'm, artwork. Oh, they're good. <laughs> oh, she, okay, she went for oh, it. She went for you're it. You're not supposed to eat that. No, I'm kidding. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> not right now? Or is it for later? <laughs> it's to find. I, 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 oh, okay. like. <laughs> I have 36 more. We're good. Oh, yay. Oh, okay. It's fine then. Um, one mouthful. It just it's straight down the hatch. <laughs> like a snake Should... unhinging the jaw. Shall we get going then? Uh, yeah, let's go yes. see if we can find some ponies. Yeah. Ponies. Oh my gosh, if there's a Shetland, I'm calling. So there, I mean, there are definitely, you, you just have to chat with, there is a stable here. So if you wanted to yeah, chat great. with the person in charge and um, this is probably a resolve test. Let's see if you can sort of charm this person into letting you use some of his horses. I am happy to do that uh, unless somebody else wants to give it a go. I'm just going to point out to Arabella, like, what kind of horses are on display. Like, dazzle them with your knowledge. I'm not really a people person, but, like, <laughs> dazzle them with your fun horse facts. Oh, yeah. And just, like, it goes about the breeds, and I'm like, that one's got stumpy legs because of inbreeding in the species. This one's got this because of X, Y reasons. Go I, dazzle I, them with your knowledge. Okay, thank you. Oh, and uh, if that doesn't help, just give him some of these, and I slide you. Yeah, bribe them. Oh, okay, cupcakes. great. Some some <laughs> of the cupcakes, great. Just like come in all like the horses, horse facts, horse facts. <laughs> this one is seventeen cupcakes. hands tall because of its sire. Here's some cupcakes. Can we rent these horses, please? 
<laughs> is that the same? Is that how you go into this? Please. I can I can ride one while standing up. I think that makes me qualified. You you seem like a real um special lady. Um I, I'm not normally this awkward, but I was very heavily prepared before coming in here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> seems seems a little strange. Uh where how many horses do you need and where are you gonna go with them? Uh three, and we're gonna go into the spooky forest. Da, da, mm. So we need the the brave horses heading heading into the forest. We don't we don't normally go into the forest. Um, that's yeah, not that really one. yeah yeah. It's not really um, it's, a, it's sort of not not what I would call uh, safe. Can you guarantee that you are going to be bringing these horses back because you did say the word rent, and I am a little concerned. That's very fair, actually. Can I buy these horses? Um, is it because you think that you are going to be riding them to your or their death? Uh, no, um, I, my friends and I are princesses and heroes. Mm -hmm. We've been mm -hmm. through many scraps together. Mm -hmm. We're incredibly competent. My friends back there can do anything and I'm with them and I believe in us. Uh, so I think that we are going to ride out victorious on these horses, but I don't want you to feel bad about them and i I'm, I'm honestly i don't know how long we're going to take and i don't want to pay any late fees that's really the big thing sure 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 T go ahead and give me that resolve let's see let's see how he's buying this <laughs> like, are you saying rent because this is gonna get taken to the debts you're right i'd like to buy <laughs> <laughs> uh, i got a cool. seven on my I'll resolve seven. and my resolve is 11 yeah you know listen uh he's like well, you know, Doug Nabbit, we we had we ain't had a princess in these parts for quite some time, but there's just something about you. Um makes me feel like maybe I don't know what this feeling is. Hope? It's her easygoing smile and charm. Also, that one yelling in the back seems weird. But she's eh. not weird. She's great. She, but she's, she's got the mostly spirit. harmless. Mostly harmless. Where did you yeah, come from? Harmless. I definitely there was one and now there's three. That is Aren't how you we in work. Luck? You had no princesses. Now you got three of them. Wow. We're like ants. I just. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, ants. Listen, I'm I'm on I'm on board. You you go ahead and rent rent these, and I'm gonna even just say it's it's just one silver a piece because I believe in you, and I believe you're gonna come back with these horses. Thank and, you. And, and Thank you know, you. Uh, you go ahead and you go ahead and take them. Do your best. Maybe try not to stand on them. Uh, or if you're gonna stand on them, you should probably be riding Clara there because she's the sturdiest. Mm -hmm. Sturdy. Oh, good. Good. I'm, yeah, I'm probably gonna need Clara then because, um, as you can see, I'm a, I'm a, I'm not a small, I'm not a small princess. Rosemary's um, keeping us all well fed. We gotta have yep. enough room for the supplies. Yeah. Oh, do perhaps would you like to add one more silver piece and maybe get like a pack mule? I, I think I think we're gonna uh, need that, pack, yes, because yes, I would hate to leave yeah. any of this behind. These um these victuals of ours. These are very I'm, important cupcakes. Feeding yeah, we get and hungry otherwise. Them. Yeah. All right. Well, um, uh, best. There's a lot best, of cast iron. Best one we age. got here is <laughs> is Marvin. He's a mule. Um, and he is um, uh, pretty ill-tempered, but real strong. So I'm immediately attached to Marvin. and will mm -hmm. die for Marvin. <laughs> Wonderful. Can I uh, just quickly, because uh, I can, hang on, what was it? I have Whisperer. I can speak to animals. Oh. Can Ooh. I just kind of like approach Marvin real quick while they're having a chat and be like, hey, dude, we are going to be taking you out on a little trip. Just want to make sure you're cool with that. I, I, I know, I, I know. Just, but I just want to take a nap. It's so I'm so tired. You know, these hey. horses are so loud all the time. Dude, no, I get that. They can be pretty aggressive. But here's what I'm thinking. We mm -hmm. take you out, bit of peace and quiet. My mate Rosemary back there, yeah, mad cook. Just incredible mm -hmm. stuff. The things that she can do with a bit of honey and a glaze, oh, mwah, you've never seen anything like it. All How right. do you feel about coming on a little journey with us? I'll make sure that you're cool and we're cool. I'll make sure we're on the same page, yeah? Let's see what he thinks of that. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> I'm going to get kicked in the chest. No, feels great about it. It's a five. Yeah! He yeah. feels great. He's like, you know what? That Just like, are we, no horses are coming though? It's just going to be like us. 
look, there might be some horses, but I'm going to talk to my friends over here and we'll keep you guys like pretty separate if we can. All I'll right. try I'll other chat with them, see if they can keep it down a bit. I want to make sure you're comfortable because yeah. you're going to be like, you're really like a side from us. You're the backbone of this operation. Oh, yeah. I mean, that makes sense. I uh, always knew I was born for great things. You know, like I and think I'm probably right. going to be a hero one day. Do you, Hey, do you think yeah, on this expedition, mm. do you think that I could uh, have a sword? A sword. All right. OK. Question. Mm -hmm. And I'm not judging your capabilities or trying right. to get where would you hold the sword? Are you think just like right here in, in my teeth? I could just. Or, uh, I mean. That seems doable enough. Great, get you great. a sword in the mouth here. Great. Just don't use it. Don't use it on my friends and I. That's like oh, no. the one. No, 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 here. no, no. Obviously, wouldn't Safety use it on. First. What do they call them? Party members? Is that what they call them? I would. I would. Yeah. yeah. Friends, yeah, yeah. comrades. Friends. Yeah. 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 Only on only on bad guys and maybe bad horses. Maybe. Lean into Arabella. Is, is she talking? <laughs> she, is what are these guys play? saying? What's, all I heard was, we'll get you a sword. And I that excites me more than I can tell you. <laughs> Arabella's down for everything. <laughs> Arabella's got God. some, like, the princess life was boring before. She's going out on her own, <laughs> freelance. This fairy godmother thing was the best thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> and Rose, me for the love of God, just please be, just please keep the group. Like, as long as the group's fed, she's cool. <laughs> I love that. I love it. I think I'm going to kind of sum up my chat with Marvin uh, and just be like, yeah, guys, how do we feel about giving Marvin, sorry, just in context, how do we feel about giving Marvin a sword? He wants to be a hero. And you know what? I'm all for it. Is he licensed to carry a sword? I mean, are we licensed to carry a sword? Don't answer that. You actually might be. I'm not. He's um, promised, though, to only use it on bad guys and not horses. There's a whole thing. It's like so much drama in the animal world. All right, all right, but let's just um, under under supervision, under princess yes. supervision. So if you mm -hmm. could, Fern, uh, keep an eye on him when he starts swinging. We, um, you know, we don't know what kind of ill-tempered. Uh, I don't teach you so right. What is he? Arabella, you live a life that fascinates me and scares me at the same time, and I'm really <laughs> here for it. Me but too. Yeah, <laughs> you're so right. Supervision and right. At some point, Rosemary, we might be in for a show when Arabella teaches the pack mule how to do some moves. So it's a win-win, I say. Dinner and a show. Oh, I can't get behind that. Dinner theater is a very, uh, is a very priced form of entertainment where I come from. Uh, there's a certain art to it. Yeah, there's a certain art to it. Like if you're going yeah. to, for example, you're going to be serving the Caesar salad, right? You might uh, mm. grab your head of Caesar uh, lettuce, of romaine lettuce, and you, you know, if someone is being a little bit, uh, this, uh, you know, uh, uh, a little bit heckling the group, perhaps you might mm -hmm, throw a mm -hmm. leaf from your uh, head of lettuce to your, uh, some head of romaine lettuce to them and go eat a Caesar. And then if they were continuing to be annoying, you might take another one and throw it at them and say, eat too, brute. Hey. Sorry. A little, I need to uh, live. A little <laughs> entree, a little here, entree humor so for you. A little entree humor for you. It's just a, it's just a, a hearty clap. From, from I'm so ben. happy we went on that walk with you. <laughs> um, um, it was you. a journey, but man, am I happy with the destination that we got to. All right. <laughs> I always give the thumbs up to Marvin. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to have you head into the forest. Mm -hmm. I mean, oh, hold on. We are skipping the most important and best part. I'm so sorry. Sword shopping. Sword shopping. <laughs> shopping episode. Um, I believe that this is probably, you can either use grace or wits to get the best deal from, from your swordsmith okay. over there. You let me know which one you want to use. Uh, if you're giving me the option, I will do grace. Yeah, we'll make to it quick. Use, use it as a as a charm thing. Uh, are you telling him that the sword is for a mule? Uh, I think I want to see every sword in the place. Got it. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> and I will probably tell him that the the that one of the swords is for the mule. Okay. I feel like Arabella has a hard time resisting other swords. I understand. 
if she could afford them. Are you uh, I did trying roll a to two. get one for each person? It do oh that is a good question. I'm, I'm okay. I, I have, have I have a, a cooking knife. I've got a I've got a hatchet. Uh, so I'm good. Don't worry about me. I've got it. I'm gonna do a little like cool little twirl with my fingies, just like cool. So can we go? one for Arabella Ooh. and one for Marvin. The mule. <laughs> Great. A, a two is an incredible role. Um, the the swordsmith quite taken with you and intrigued by the possibility of giving a sword to a mule. Um, feels like what a challenge, right? Like, oh, I could, I could find something that they could hold. And so ends up <clears throat> sort of finds a beautiful sword for you. Love it. Like it was built for you. The balance is perfect and it's really lovely. And there's some, maybe a little bit of magic uh, operating. You get the best swordsmiths in these small towns. In this sort. Yeah. Well, it's, you know, <laughs> passed down through generations. You know, their family has been doing it for ages. And she I kind, find that proximity to a curse really hones the craft. Yeah. I don't know yeah, what it is. The edges are always so sharp. I don't, so know. Good. <laughs> I don't get it. Um, she comes out with a contraption that looks kind of like a sword. But the handle's in the middle, Ooh. and it is in a way that could fit comfortably in the mule's teeth, and so it's got a blade sticking out of either side, and yet just, like, wickedly sharp. That's so much cooler than I thought it was going to be. Mm. Well done. Well done. Oh, thank you so much. Um, listen, I would love to hear the story when you come back of, of how that worked for Mar Marvin, I'm so it? glad to hear you say that because uh, nothing will make me happier than telling it to you. I can't wait. We will meet up for, you know, uh, some mead, perhaps. And you can Tavern, tell me right over your there. adventure. When do you think you'll be back? Is this a quick expedition? Should I be looking for you in... We're expecting it to take a few days to get there, and mm. then who knows what we actually have to do when we arrive. So probably a, a week, week and a half. Oh, okay. And and where where are you heading out to? Oh, it's Spooky <laughs> Forest. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was really nice to meet you. No, it's because like she's really you brave. Too. She's really brave and strong. We're all like really brave and strong. Yeah. It's gonna be great. Does your friend want to come in? Got with or... me. And Marvin, we got this. Yeah, no, I. Uh, sounds like an excellent plan. Um, Have you been in the spooky forest? No, yeah, you talk like someone no, who definitely like no. knows some things. No, we don't. No, we don't go in there. That's not. That's not for people. We don't. That's not. But have you ever considered that maybe it's not actually a spooky forest? It just looks like a spooky forest. And if you were to go there, you would realize it's not a spooky forest. And thus, it wouldn't be a spooky forest anymore. But the because spookiness you're not might going... just be that the trees are real healthy. Hey, yes. not to uh, hop on the point, though, but like, why? Is there like a reason, like in history, like something terrible happened that we should know about before we go well, in there? Well, anybody who goes in the forest does not come out. Um, because they love it so much yeah. or because they're dead? You do sometimes find pieces of them. Of people? Yeah, sort of. Yeah. Almost like almost like the forest has spit them out. Oh. Um, and then Ooh. that, like, darkness is... Uh, anybody who gets close to it says that they... they uh, it just, like, even the bravest just makes them, like, panic. Just, like, can't help it just like bubbles up inside them um yeah it's a uh, it's bad we stay out of the stay well, out of the forest darkness is only darkness until you bring some light into it and well as long as you've got some good friends uh full bellies and a donkey named marvin um there's no reason why you should not be able to bring i mean them. this yeah. is an excellent argument um and i can't wait to hear about your adventures and i will stay here yeah. like where it is oh second. yes Sick. Good I'll, time to mention that I'm like really scared of the dark. Is it like a thing we should probably bring up now? Or... Mm, no. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. 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 That's cool, why cool, I've cool, got cool, cool. torches. Where did you pull those from? Oh my gosh. Don't my ask. Bag. Don't ask. Do <laughs> not ask. Yeah. Bag. Whatever you do. You're right. Silly me. Don't ask. But it's like a lit torch. Like she pulled it out freshly lit. Well, yeah. Like, that's what gets me. I'm not um, complaining. Like I'm all for it. I just want to know where you put it. They're like, more fun that way. Fern, we have 
we have fairy godmothers and you're worried about lit torches? I mean, just like from a purely like keeping bags unsinged perspective, yeah. That's where we store all our stuff. I also make sure Arabella's not got some like scorch mark somewhere. That's that's what I'm concerned about, but I'll take it. I'll take it. I love not it. I love torches. Of. I love light. Never look a never look a lift a lit torch in the mouth. Um Wait, what? Well, oh, or, or put a lit torch in your mouth. In your mouth. Unless yeah. you're a fire breather, in which case, in please. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, I want to learn that so bad. I, I tried it once. I'll tell you, you got to be specially trained. It just does oh. not work. I tried it once on a dare. Didn't work. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ate some fire. I um, Ate some fire. Once Marvin has been fully loaded and all our supplies are stacked up on him, I'm going to give him a little scritch. I'm going to be like, hmm. I do love a full mule. He goes. Uh, feed him. I'll grab some oh, carrots. Yes. Mm. Oh, I, I really dude. thought he wanted his knife. Yeah, I mean, yes, that can come next. I thought that was. <laughs> well, you got to feed him first because then yeah, otherwise he won't go, be able to. Be full. So then he the puts knife. A, um, they got you a double sword, Marvin. A he, double yeah. sword. He pauses for it's a moment and then ends. just flails around. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, what did we say? What did we say? Mm? Uh, uh, mm? Bad guys. You said bad guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, are there bad guys here? Uh, maybe. No, the answer, Marvin, come on, man. I trusted you with this. Um, the answer is no. Let's okay, keep the flail like, to a minimum. Can you, can you point out any bad guys? When we get not to here. Them? Okay. As soon but, as we get there. Yeah, I'll tell you. Yeah, I'll tell you. Oh, I can't hear. We this. just heard a bunch. <laughs> oh, I relate to that. I re you guys know that I'm when I'm talking. I'm talking <laughs> together. I'm, I'm talking to the mule. I'm just talking to myself. We just heard that this place we're going to is going to be probably full of bad guys. Oh, so sorry. So much. Let's work. do it. I know. Heck yeah, little dude. I'm gonna like little just a little little boop on the snoot. Mm. Thank you. We got this. So about our horses, how yep. we we do it? We doing that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got you've these got three them. horses as well. Yep. Dick. You've got you've got Clara, the sturdy one. You've got mm -hmm. um, Lewis, who uh, seems to be very prancy. Uh, and and then you've got Argyle, who seems to be a slow and steady pr like plotter. Who is the shortest of Lu the horses? Lewis. Lewis? Yeah. Okay. I mean, uh, closer to the ground. <laughs> closer to my escape. Perfect. Oh, I man. Go and this give this a little slow, scritch. steady horse is going to drive me insane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, was, I was thinking Clara might be good for me because I'm, you know, I'm a stout princess, but I think knowing Arabella, I'm going to uh, spare Arabella the uh, the the mental difficulties of having to deal with a slow horse and I, I will take, uh, I will take Argyle. Oh, that's sweet. I mean, they all seem, they're horses, so they're very, they're, they're all pretty sturdy, you know? They're like, all horsey? They're all a, 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 a touch horsey, <laughs> if you will. <clears throat> um, and uh, you, th they don't seem to have any problem heading into the forest. You, you go inside, you, you sort of step underneath the canopy and it is weirdly quiet, like a like m muffled almost, like all of the sound, even the sound of your horse's clip clopping is like l like it comes out, and when you speak, it's like it comes out and drops immediately. Like it's really hard to Ooh. hear each other. Everything is dampened. Um, like that scene in the. Uh... Sleepy Hollow from Disney, you know, when Ichabod Crane's on the horse and he's like, plunk, 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 I never saw Sleepy in the Hollow. Dark it's on my list, though. Uh, and then also weirdly cold. It was a, it was beautiful. Obviously, you were expecting it to be a little bit cooler in the shade of the trees, but it is like see your breath cold when mm. you get inside. This is like all the hallmarks of a bad time or is all the hallmarks of a bad time. <laughs> They call it a spooky forest. I don't know what you expected. I mean, like, I expected this, but this is, like, proper spooky. <laughs> if it's, like, cursed stuff, that's different from, like, a little off-putting. It's really not that bad when you think about it. I mean, the trees are quite lovely. <laughs> right? 
And they're so healthy. Look how I'm not saying I'd like to build a summer summer home here. But I'm just saying I would build a summer home here. Um, I'm gonna see if I can just like make a little uh, a little bird call and try and like use the bird call sounds to see if I can pinpoint any um, like activity in mm. the area. If there's anything at all, um, I figure the birds would be the way to kind of lead us to where maybe there's a safe spot. Great. Um, this if feels like a there. this feels like a wits. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, who could speak with intuitive feelings? Okay, ooh, let's come on. Eleven to beat. That is <laughs> a freaking one. Woo! A freaking oh, one. Yeah. Listen, yeah. that is a critical Seriously. success. Nice, you nice. you send out a little bird call, and the first one that you send out, like, it can't quite get it. But you found the frequency of that whistle, right? And so you get that, and it kind of pierces through, and there is a quiet moment like an expectant moment and one little tiny bird like detaches itself from inside a bunch of leaves and like flies down to you and and lands on the head of your horse like right in front and like whistles like very quietly back hey hey little guy thank you so much for answering Hey, I didn't expect anyone. I, you should not. You should go. This is bad. Yeah, it's people. Bad. It's bad. People here. keep telling us that you yeah. look. You probably know more about this area than we do. Could yeah. you give us any like? What are we getting ourselves into? Are there any bad guys up ahead? We should kind of keep an eye out for. Are you okay? Is oh, your family okay? I, no, a lot you're not good. It's bad here and has been okay. for a real long time. And um, you probably just want to get through. As fast as you can. So um, if you just uh, just avoid the big pocket of scary dark and just just go around it and then you can go out the other side and then you don't have to go. Um, don't go there. Yeah. So about that, here's the thing. We're yeah. kind of aiming for the big pocket of the scary dark so we can fix it. Yeah, so we can fix it. How would you say, as someone who is so versed in the ways of the wild uh-huh. and clearly uh-huh. so brave, how would, what do you think would be the best way we should go about getting there? Like a straight shot? Is there anything in our way? What's the vibes? I don't, I don't, yeah. Okay. So it's going to actually be pretty easy to get to Great. the pocket of Scary Dark because it, love it, to hear it, it. wants, people to go there oh so if you just if you just like keep walking straight and like don't consciously try to avoid it it's just gonna take you just open up cool any way you know of to maybe stave off the uh capturing part of this equation like to willingly go there but with a righteous heart uh ooh, no that's a no on that no. one no i mean i just try to stay as close to the edge of the forest as i can but i'm too little and i can't i can't get out all the bigger animals already they got out or or well, or they got into the dark pocket but otherwise they were i'm not strong enough to like get out I mean, I don't think that's true. You seem pretty strong to me, little guy. What if, I'm not saying you have to, we're Mm going to go in there and we're going to fix this because Uh as of right now, I'm very big and brave and I have to be because you seem less brave than I do right now and I really need to, like, I got to, I can't let that happen. So we're going to try and get in there. You don't Mm -hmm. have to come with us, Mm -hmm. but when we solve this, I'll get you out. Yeah, oh, you can come that, travel with us, and I'll get you to your family. Yeah, that'd be yeah, I, that'd be great. I would like that. Heck yeah. Um, uh, but like, do your best not to die, because you know that's what? what happens. That's what I tell myself every day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's my. I've got it embroidered on a pin cushion. Like, <laughs> do, do your best not to die. I've got it down pat. Mm-hmm. If you want to, we came out through this way and I point back to where we came. Hopefully there's a, it's still there. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you follow that way, that's going to lead you back out uh, to civilization. So if you want to like head out that way or get as close as you can and we'll come back and find you, yeah? 
oh, okay. And he picks picks himself up, starts flapping, yep. and as he gets to the edge of the forest, oh, his flight yeah. like slows down, and then it like pulls him back in. And so you see him flying, but it is uh, pulling him backwards. And then okay, it, buddy, to take a break, maybe he, a break. he ends up oh, back yeah. in the tree that he was in that he came out of when you okay. So and I just kind of turn around with this like, <laughs> oh no, look at my face. So good news, bad news, guys. Good news, it's going to be really easy to get to where we got to go. Bad news. Right. It's kind of like a digestive system, I think, where it's like all roads lead to the stomach is the vibe I'm getting. So we got to try really hard not to get sucked into this, I think is like the vibe. So, yeah. Okay. Well, then I will stop making a compass out of a needle. (laughs) And. Oh, you're so clever. No, no, like it's good to have a. Arts and craft. It's good to have a. I think we need to maintain hobbies while we're in here because this place seems like real cooked. And if if that's if that's the case, then 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 we're golden because I am, after all, a professional of the digestive system. Yeah, See, we've got it covered. We've got the dream team ready to go. Mm-hmm. Actually, I'm hoping like, that one of your braveries rubs off on me because <laughs> I'm not feeling good. While about you it. have been talking, you realize that you are further into the forest. <laughs> oh no. It's oh. doing it. The digestive system's moving. We're being digested. As long Rosemary. as we don't come out the other end. Yeah. A- like, as an expert in digestive systems. Yes. What? Do you, do you think you can intuit anything about all of this? Yeah. Because like, I think what, that was a your... really good observation. Difficult to tell at this point. Um, I think we need to get a little bit closer to see exactly what's happening. But yeah, I okay. will say that the thing about a digestive system is that while it is very sensitive and you have to be very careful what you put into it, if you want to mess it up, it is very easy to put something in it that's going to make it regret ever having digested you in the first place. Like us. Let's make this let's make the spooky forest vom. Let's go. I love this. It's the bomb squad. No, I hate that name. Don't. We're not called that. We're not called that. Excuse. I'm. I'm nervous. Okay. I'm just saying things. Fern. Yeah. Fern, sorry. Yeah. You know, I love you very deeply. Thank you. But you too. We need to do this thing where, once in a while. Yeah. Your thoughts don't make it out of. I know. Your thought I know. editing. Yeah. Like just yeah, one, one out of ten times. One out of ten times. Well, they're, they're inside thoughts, not outside thoughts. Yeah, exactly. I know. I'm just nervous. This is like really scary and I really don't want to be here, but like we've got to be no, big I, and brave, right? That's oh, the whole point. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Give me a hug, give me a hug, give me a hug. Okay. Arabella, get in here. This is like yeah, okay, thank you. Thing. I was so worried. Little bird, little myself. bird, get in here. Oh, little oh, bird's taking Marvin, a break. Marvin, you can't. You got a knife in your mouth, Marvin. Oh, yeah, Marvin, put the... Oh, Marvin, Marvin is trying really hard to get your attention, actually. Uh, oh, you're great. Do you have a... We even, I don't, I don't Hang on, I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the uh, sword out uh, of his mouth. Thank you. Oh, I actually like, they feel like I should maybe have that back as soon as possible because there's like oh, a big, yeah, no, it's... a big really scary tree right right there. Oh, dun, dun, dun. Back in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I'm gonna what? follow Fern's eye line and draw my sword. What? Yeah, <laughs> so it's the biggest tree you've ever seen. It is the tree from your dream. Arabella. Guys, we're already here. Oh, that was quick. The digestive system works wonders. And Went uh, through it like grew up. Now there was like a, a door or an opening in our dream, right? Yeah. Big, big like the roots are so big that they form like oh, they, yes. caverns. Like there's a couple of of like ones that stick up out of the ground that are large enough for a person to walk into. Well, this looks like an ulcer if ever I did see one. Yeah. We're probably getting close to the stomach. Yay. Uh, I suspect the answer is no, but are these tall enough for us to ride our horses in? No. (laughs) Horse horse cannot fit. Oh, no. Love it. (laughs) He was so excited to fight these. I I can... 
I could stand guard out here though. Like I can already... Yeah, you have to protect the horses, Marvin. Yeah. yeah. That's it. You know, there's yeah, this is your chance to be the hero. You gotta put I'll aside be, your differences with the hero. horses. Yeah. I mean, I you do sometimes I still wanna kind of stab them a little. Like I still wanna Don't don't but stab I... the horses, Marvin. Only if they be biggest... what, what if they become Did bad, he really though? say he was gonna stab the horses? Hey, he's, he yeah. just He's just going through some stuff. He just they, they distract him. They get in his head a little bit. He's I'm gonna, having some issues. I'm gonna go through my uh, my bag and find the juiciest, most beautiful fruit that I have, and I'm gonna look at Marvin. I'm gonna say, "You see this? Uh huh. Yeah. If we come back, he says, yeah. yeah. And you haven't stabbed anyone. You're not supposed to stab, including the horses. Uh huh. Uh-huh. This will yeah. be yours. Oh, oh, uh huh. Uh huh. You want to uh, smell it? T- smell? Yeah, it's not good. Tell us, let's go. I will do that. Marvin says it smells good. He's keen. You got a deal. I'm holding you to that, Marvin. Mm-hmm. The biggest hero up. move is putting aside your differences yes. and not stabbing the horses. Yeah. You're going to protect I, them. I could be a princess. You could. You could be a princess. I'd be a princess. Guys, he wants to be a princess. I oh, love this. Well, he's a princess a already. Decision. Yeah, I think so. You're also. already a princess, Marvin. Uh, but Princess now, Marvin is- of Willowbrook. Doesn't me. Princess Marvin of Willowbrook, my heart, it hurts. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> now, though, you got to earn the title. Yeah. Okay, you got to work for it. I'll do it. Yeah. Okay. Good boy. Good, good boy. I'm going to give a little okay. scratch scratch. Thank you. A good princess never stabs someone she's not supposed to stab. Yeah. Hmm. Only the people she's supposed to stab, which in our case. I mean, on be... purpose. <laughs> Look, we all make mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> good princess. It only wasn't your stabs color, the people it... she's supposed to stab. <laughs> I'll add it to the quote list. Thank Hang on, get the embroidery cushion. <laughs> gonna be a, a very princess we only to really. <laughs> We're gonna need a quilt small. more than a, yeah. a cushion. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a yeah. whole thing. <laughs> okay, I just, I just, I feel like I, I. It's fine. If if I have something to point at, something physical and yeah. scary, I'm good. But it's all like the stuff that I can't see. How do you fight a feeling? That's. Oh, it just makes me, if there's a thing I can fight, then we're good. Well, we're fine. It's just. There's no need to stand on ceremony. This meal is not going to eat itself. We should head in there. <sighs> All right. Yeah. Uh, I would love for everyone to test Grace for me, please. Ooh. Why? What has she done? <laughs> Perhaps something bad. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Um, my darling, my loves, my Had beautiful friends. My beautiful, beautiful friends who will love me in this situation. Um, I just rolled a uh, nat 20. Oh, no. Uh, so um, um, he's not very to, bad. Uh, not, not, it's not very to bad. Be, not to be that guy who comes in right after someone and says, I've rolled a nat 20 and says, uh-huh. I've rolled a nat 20, but I've rolled a nat 20 also. <laughs> no. How did Eric do? I'd love do? to be the person who comes in and says, I can save everything, but I rolled a 16. <laughs> Well, this adventure like is... is 13. <laughs> so we're getting digested. All so, of those fears are warranted. You go in and you're like, this is going to be great. We're going to go right in through this gap. This is the gap in my dream that she took. This is going to be great. And you step in. And boy, it is. It is slippery. It is really slippery underneath this tree. And you, you all... <laughs> just like lose your footing and you fall, and you just fall down in a big heap. Everybody takes two points of of damage to your your Ooh. HP, your heart points. Um oh, no. you landed in, in just like a tangle of arms and legs. And this area underneath this tree, just oh, like so many bugs. Centipedes, beetles, uh, lots uh, of ants, um, just like crawling everywhere. Normal size. They're not overly huge or anything, but like it is, it is yeah. boy, it's uh, a lot. All creatures are precious. All creatures are precious. Uh, all oh, creatures oh, are precious. Oh, oh, Y'all have oh, seen oh, Temple oh, of oh, Doom. Oh, oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. All creatures mm-hmm. are precious. All it's creatures are precious. Passage that she has to go through. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Look, Fern, Arabella. 
Mm -hmm. We've been uh, going on this extended metaphor here of this being a digestive system. You have to think of these mm -hmm. bugs as the enzymes mm -hmm. in your stomach that help you digest things. So these bugs are here to eat all the little crap and little things and to make sure that everything gets broken down into the nutrients that feed its place. So mm -hmm. if you think of them this way, they're, they're really not that bad. But they're there to eat that's us actually, as the thing that's going through. Well, right? you know, that is certainly one um, pessimistic way of looking mm -hmm. at it. Pessimistic, um, realistic, uh, tit for tat. What? I just get him. Oh my gosh, it's in my shirt. It's in my shirt. Uh, 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 ew, yeah, they're ew, a natural ew. part of the system. Thank you, Rosemary. That's uh, weirdly comforting. They're they're just they just belong here. We don't. They're not spooky. We're the intruders. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm still here, and that makes me upset. Could you not? Could you not please? Do you mind? Thank you so much. Go over there. Oh, creatures are precious. Oh, creatures are precious. I would love okay, for so... everyone to give me a resolve test. Ooh, okay. That's Ooh, that is a four. Up, oh. oh, no. Now one. Now hey! one. I have a six. Six? Woohoo! Okay, everybody passes, which is yes. delightful. So what happens is you hear this, like, deafening buzzing sound. And... Oh, that's so good. Just for a moment, you feel a little like a little woozy, like like you might kind of fall asleep, but you're able to all of you are able to like shake it off. And and mm. there is a like a really big cicada. Real, real big, real like almost the size of the passageway. Big. Oh, so not like big for a cicada, big, big in general, big in general. Cool. Oh, wow. That's not normal. That is Maybe not we normal. Write okay. that. I mean, it's worth a shot. We're already in here. And there's a bug in my shirt again. Oh, my gosh. Would you get out of there? Stop it. Ew. I've given up on the bugs. Okay. There's so many. Yeah. Look, you're probably my right. My skirt is made of bugs given. as far as I can tell. Oh, yeah. You're not kidding. Oh, that is yeah, yeah. You know what? it's a, it's a lot of them. Yeah, Listen, look, there I are love, a lot of cultures that eat bugs like crickets are a, a staple in in some like baking and and it's probably a lot, a lot of problem, protein. Rose, Rosemary's got the recipe list going. There's like a new batch to be made from this. <laughs> Does it look like it's waiting to cricket eat flour or is it just chilling? The cicada? Yeah, Um, it is making um like posturing like it's trying to scare you um uh um, you know what uh do 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 burn yes. you you're Hello. pretty good with animals um if you could does give my, me yeah. give like, test wits animal... for me yeah see, like, see how much you know about bugs. cicadas that is what's my wit oh okay it, is it meat Meet it, meet it, beats it. Yeah, tie goes to the okay, runner, yeah. and you are the runner. That is that is eleven. Okay, so yeah, you you know you are less versed with with the sort of the bug kingdom, mm -hmm. but you do know that cicadas are not natural predators of anything. Like they are prey, so even yeah. one this size, um, the that noise you heard is that is what they can do. And so you know that like, it's probably just trying to get you out of its vicinity. Okay. Okay. Now, hey, um, does my uh, whisperer ability work with insects? Mm. Do they count as, as an animal? Well, I rolled a one, so yes. Hey. yes. The dice have decided. Okay, uh, uh, so I'm gonna try and talk. Is it, I'm gonna try and talk to it. This this feels. I'm gonna try and talk to it. <clears throat> I'm just gonna kind of mm -hmm. shuffle up mm -hmm. and try to put mm -hmm. hands up, try and look as non-threatening as possible, not like big, kind of smaller. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, mm -hmm. hey, hey! I know you're scared. Is, I'm pretty scared too. Hey, what, what's you, up? What was that? Why? Why are you in house? Is my house? You? No, no. I get, and you know what? You have a beautiful home. You have yes. a beautiful home. He's Where decorate. here, yeah. Oh, and I can, Ooh. you've done wonders. I really, mm. guys, it decorated. Um, 
we're just here. What are you doing with the place? <laughs> Yeah, he's, it's he's, great. He's thank you, but you are making so nervous. I'm so nervous. Perhaps I you could not be here. <laughs> we voice. would love to be not here. Yes. Could you perhaps? You know what? It's actually you know we can work together here. Mm. We want to get out of here, mm -hmm. and you're kind of in our way. Maybe could you lead us further in? Because we have a problem we have to deal with, and we'll Ooh. be out of your hair. If you just guide us through, how about uh, that? Is where where wants to go. Though. There is several places. One has little green mm -hmm. men. One has um is big spiders, and one <laughs> not that. And then and then one has um don't know how to say. Uh, is there like a fancy? It uh, is yes? shinies. Shinies. Okay. But, okay. I'm going to relay that back to, to Arabella and Rosemary. We've got options. There's little green men, shinies, oh. and spiders. I vote not the last one. Shinies no. could be what we're here for, but little green men could be people. What they might be able to tell us in our dream tell us? Oh, well, I'll be honest. I was terrified most of that dream, so I'm gonna need you I guys. Think, to I think I think I might be able one. to help us here if you'll give me uh, a little m minute here, and I start looking for my teapot and my my tea leaves and all that stuff. And oh. uh, Arabella, could could you could you get a little fire going so we can have a little tea? Absolutely. Let's oh, ask permission torch. first. Hey, hey, is it okay if we have fire in here, not to scare anyone? Because this is your is, home. It should be is very small. Is small fire? Do not like fire. Fire is like very tiny small. fire. Okay, you know, I'm going to stand near, between you and the fire. Not so near you're, you're safe. Okay. Yeah, you're safe. I'm going to stand yeah. here as like your guardian. Great, and I'm going to keep you safe from the fire. Yes, okay, then, good. then okay. And so yeah, I'm I, going to uh, make us a fresh pot of tea. Probably get a little, uh, you know, some scones going and whatnot. We will oh. enjoy our tea. Have a little discussion, and then I once we are done having our tea and our scones. Um, Tell me I will. The Sorry, giving the cicadas a cup. Tell me, yeah. Tell me, we gave a little. Oh yeah, cicada wants I'm like a cup feeding. Of tea. I'm feeding scones if they're up for it. Is strange taste, but is not bad. But it's put, put a little rosemary? dollop of honey in it. Yeah. Oh, let me get. Yeah. I'll, I'll get that for you. I'll get that for you. Is nice. Put that there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is rosemary good. great at what she does? You need a cook. Rosemary's your gal. Is, is Rosemary moving in or cooking here? No, uh, just just passing through. Oh. Like one does in a digestive mm -hmm. But once we solve this problem, there's no telling. We might be able to come back when it's mm -hmm. less scary. That's an option we might have. And um, what I want to do is I have an innate ability called T where I can spend time <laughs> to brew a cup of tea, read the leaves and divine a single yes or no question. Oh, love that. Heck okay. yes. Let's do it. Um, during this spending time, does anyone want to use a heart die to have to count this tea as a picnic? I mean, yeah. I because then you could heal not. up. You can roll your D4 and heal... Yeah, we all took two points of damage, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I will use a heart die to get uh, Fern back up, or well, hopefully. On I think a I fall? will also. I will also. I think that just you're just up to, yeah, on a d4. Yeah. yeah well, yeah, I brought a four. Great. Well, you're you're healed up. Uh, Beautiful. Uh, uh, Ansel, would you like to use this little tea time to to heal up? Yeah, uh, yeah, we've got those two injuries. I'll take that. So go ahead and roll me, roll me your D four to see how many you get back. Okay, one. Okay, pop them back up. Uh, Excellent. and then I'm gonna have you div divine that, and then we're gonna go to break. I got real engrossed in what we were doing, and we went a little bit longer <laughs> than I normally would. <laughs> no been. problem. Um, so um, go ahead and tell me. Um, well, my question is: Well, we're definitely not going to the spiders. So the question I will ask <laughs> is: Would we be better off going to see the green little men than going to the shinies? Better off, like 
physically? Would we like, be more successful in our quest if we went to see the green little men rather mm -hmm. than the shinies? Uh, there we go. No, it, you are... The, the T's say success is in the shinies, but the T also says that danger is in the shiny. Well, nothing but, worth having is uh, ever free. We should go to the shinies, the tea. Oh, the tea. that means it's bad stuff with the shinies, right? Is that what it says? I can't yes, read tea. Something, something terrible is going to happen, but... Does it say anything about the green men? No, it Ooh. doesn't. It just says that our best chances of success lie with the shinies, but that there is also danger. It's okay. sort of like when you're making a souffle. A souffle is a fantastic thing, but there is the danger that you will miss it and it will collapse and then it will be ruined. Yeah. I gotta take a cooking class with you sometime. This is just fascinating stuff. Oh, uh, and I mean uh, that with absolutely. full sincerity. Absolutely. A anytime you want. Heck yeah. Making plans. We're getting out yeah. of this. Danger. Chinese? Danger. <laughs> and as you uh we're gonna this is where we will cut to commercial break. Um uh as you as you follow the little tiny uh leg pointing of uh of the cicada telling you where to go um and so we were we're gonna go ahead and take our bio break uh so folks watching at home go ahead uh grab yourself some tea it seems very appropriate and uh maybe some cake if you've got it we've talked about it a lot eh? um and then come back here in a couple minutes and we will uh we will see how our Heroes Fair. Bye bye.
Welcome back from the break. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Editor, add pew, sound pew, effects pew, here. Pew, Make pew, it look pew, really pew. cool. Laser, laser. Add lasers. Pew, Listen. Pew, pew. Kapow. Uh, we, we have been really uh, up in the analogy of this digestive tract situation. And um, I don't know. I guess you could say that that tea ceremony and chatting with the giant cicada was really like a laxative for this dungeon Maybe. because uh -huh. you went right through it. You went <laughs> right. Tea can you can do that. You have figured out. Which is that good? Yeah, it depends on what kind of tea you're having. I guess like this is a yeah. this is getting you moving. Um, you you are able to, should you choose, you're able to skip all of the sort of trials and tribulations of this tree dungeon because so you know exactly where to go to finish your quest well you know straight into the point you know you know what really is annoying when i get a scroll when i get like a new recipe scroll mm -hmm. and i start unrolling it and all i want is the ingredients and how to yeah. put them together but then there's like the whole life story of and the they tell person. like a five-year story about how they yeah and then there's the like recipe. 10 drawings oh, of like their gosh. lives and their extended family and then and then yeah. it makes no sense and you're scrolling and scrolling and scrolling these uh, scrolls are unending i don't care whose aunt fought a dragon once i just want to know how to make chicken pot pie yeah, i exactly. mean i think the so. biggest offender of that was um Tolkien, right? Mm. Wasn't his uh, whole stories just he recipes did kind of, for the hobbits? Yeah, a little just bit. Just get to the point. <laughs> yep. So I think we're gonna get we're gonna jump to recipe. Jump to the recipe. Yep. Hit that little mm -hmm. button. We're um, gonna get cooking. It's yep, a little. Is listen, it is. Uh, you're you're pretty dirty. There's a lot of bugs that are probably still on mm. you because you are kind of winding your way around. Not really in the chambers, right? You're not really going through the chambers. You're kind of like around the outskirts. And um, as you're going past, you you hear in one of the chambers um, some like tiny sort of gruff goblin voices arguing with each other. And you you pass on. The and green then, man. And then That's you... Um, you hear sort of like a, a magical, like t like tinkling noise, like bells almost, as you're going past another chamber that has been pointed to you as not not where you are wanting to go. You hear little scurrying legs in another chamber. Um, mm -hmm. You get yourself That's never good. You get yourself too many knees, through. not enough soul. There it yeah. is, enough soul. Too many knees, too many eyes. And you, the the most important impressive thing about this chamber that you're going to is the lack of any noise at all. There's a weird hushed stillness as you step into this chamber. And you know how there's that like electricity in the air before a like before a big storm outside you can like feel that like crackling almost. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. feels like that and this is at the very heart of the tree there's so many like roots that are making up all of the walls it's all all twisted and strange and right in the center of the room is a throne and it is woven Ominous. into the roots is a skeleton wearing a crown guys this place is so cool it's like a heavy That's metal what album. I cover. It. Yeah, right. I mean, is it, could it the one be... from the back of the cards that? We... <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> oh, I that went right over my head. Visual <laughs> aids. I, Visual I, aids. I felt, I felt it just go warm past me. Oh, okay. Look, I get it. Nature's beautiful, and everything turns to dust, and we all will one day die. But. I don't love the skeleton just sitting there. I think we found the it's princess. Metal as hell. It is metal as hell. <laughs> as long as it stays uh, there. I don't oh, know. Skeletons I... don't hold any water with me. Hey. Uh, it's the fact that every time Christian tells a joke like this, he stares dead into the camera, and I'm just like, I, it's like I'm trying to it with a little sip or something. Just yep. Just. Delicious. I know what's up. He knows what he's doing. 
Oh yeah, this is intentional. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm guessing uh, noise is really distracting. I'm guessing that's like that's our crown, right? Like that's the Probably. from the dream. Is is I'm also guessing based on the amount of like latent energy in this room, the 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 like that awesome feel that makes it feel so cool right now. Is uh, that what we're calling it? Yeah, awesome. <laughs> oh, I'm uh, into it. This is. I'm, the, uh, I'm assuming that's Valisar, and if that's Valisar, hmm. oh, we are screwed. We could okay. be what, for. Actually, you know what? Let's try and think positively. What are the chances that actually we just walk up there, grab that crown, no mess, no fuss, and we get out of here? I love where your head's at. Thanks. Uh, not gonna knowing that he's an ancient sorcerer, I wonder if we can talk to him and he might still be, you know, alive in there a little bit. Yeah, like kill him with kindness. Too yeah, exactly. I mean, it's it's worked so far so well. Everyone yeah. I've ever Aren't met loves me. So we should just to people. I mean, Arabella's pretty good not at talking to, to people. Thus not far. to push you into I mean, anything, but like worst case, if he turns out to be awful and and tries to attack us or something, we can just stab him a bunch. Look, the second it becomes like a corporeal thing that I can crash tackle, I'm good. But it's we the can't, theoretical we can't stab, side. We can't stab a skeleton. We'll Unless it becomes that's corporeal. True. Slashing because at the that's, skeleton. Slashing. Because what if he what if he's like a bull like thing? What if it becomes like an entity? Then either way, I can still crash tackling works either way. Yeah, yeah. It's true. You're so right. Okay. So I think your first your first move is is it should remain unchanged. Sick. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I can work with that. Uh, how do we feel about to go up there? Like, what's the yeah, what's I, the process? I think we should stay here. Just shout uh, out and it? just like de you know de declare we're princesses. De it's this is his court. We got to like declare <sighs> who we are and why we're here and. Mm -hmm. Rosemary, you can have a call. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 You, 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 your talk has gone so well so far. So I'm balls in your court. I trust you. I have faith in you. Oh, uh, oh, me. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, here, here, uh, reaches into her thing, pulls out a little, a little flask. This will help loosen you up and, uh, you know, lubricate the social encounter. Mm. I do little flask. So often. Thoughts. Heck yeah. A little brandy, the apple Heck brandy. Yeah. It's uh <laughs> real strong. It is stronger than Ooh. you expected. <laughs> Goes down probably smooth. a lot of coughing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're ready now. Yeah. <laughs> I feel ready. That's what I'm feeling right now. Feel the readiness building. It's... <laughs> here it is. It, there's a lot of readiness right here, but it's, it's <laughs> kind of moving. <laughs> right in there. It's gonna seep down. You'll be all right. Yeah. You're gonna have tum tum readiness. Uh, <clears throat> uh, 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 mighty Valisar, uh, I am the Princess Arabella, and I and my companions, the Princess Rosemary and the Princess Fern, have come to treat with you. So the skeleton's head turns. Fern full on just like backs the wall, <laughs> just clings to Rosemary a little bit. <clears throat> I'm sorry, had something in my throat. Not gonna lie, I was a little bit hoping that wouldn't work, but here we are. <laughs> yeah. And then his body straightens out a little oh, bit. Mm -hmm. He was slumped into the Rosemary, room, Rosemary. And it, as he is straightening out, it's sort of popping some of the little roots that have entangled itself into it so he's like <laughs> separating himself from the throne a bit and then you hear a voice but nothing changes on the skeleton and it says ah visitors it's been a while <clears throat> fern holds her tongue <laughs> The legend of your uh, of your kingdom is well told, and we are pleased to be here. But I must tell you that the situation outside of your keep 
is dire, and we have come to treat on behalf of your citizens. He stands up. Skeleton stands up, and all of the roots fall away as one. Just thunk. He is detached. And he moves surprisingly quickly. <clears throat> I'm spry. It's pretty spry for a skeleton. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very spry. And uh, does not dexterity have any of the from. ligaments to let that happen. And he mm. shows yeah. up. He sort Magic of skeleton. crosses the room very quickly. Um, He's got a bone to pick with us. Yes. Mm. And he gets right in your <laughs> I'd face. I'd if I didn't Arabella. just pee myself a bit. And he says, huh. <clears throat> Hi. I quite like my kingdom how it is. But it could be so much more. Have you ever he... thought of sprucing up the You've driven the animals from your forest. You've driven the happiness from your people. This is he... how you like it? He... It's a real bummer. So. Slowly draws his sword. Oh, I, I, I'll not Okay, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> are you tackling? Yeah, and Fern just crash tackles from behind. <laughs> I think there's a there's a there's a, a paranoid instinct that something bad's gonna happen to Arabella and it just snaps out of the fear and straight to just no thought. Love to the, the one idea thing you have that control of. He is very dramatically like the shot is him <laughs> dramatically <laughs> like like drawing <laughs> his sword <laughs> and like <laughs> the music is interrupted by this just like Record scratch <laughs> fern just yeah. tackling it. So um let's this is very clearly going to be a <laughs> grace roll because it is very physical. Mm-hmm. I'm ready. Cool. cool, 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 cool. Okay, Grace. Oh, that is nice. That is a six. Oh. My ten. Grace is ten. Yeah. So are you trying to grapple him or just like knock him off his feet? I think Fern is going into this with keep Arabella safe. So putting some distance between Arabella and the skeleton. So trying so to like, the goal is like thunk yeah. him back. Um, yeah. I yeah. don't want to be stuck with him. I just want to get him away. Okay. So you, so you uh, just like power bomb him and he kind of ass over tea kettle. He goes and he crumbles into a heap <gasps> um, and then reassembles himself. Ooh. In sort okay. of a different configuration. So he is four legged now. <laughs> I'd say sorry, but you really had that coming. Um, he a, a vine whip just like slashes out from him at you, Fern, because you. Mm -hmm. We're clearly the aggressor here. Yep. Can I try and slash at it before it gets me with my hatchet? Um, it, it can. That can be your reaction if you would like. Yep. Uh, absolutely. Okay, I'm gonna try and pull my hatchet from my back and in one arc slash at the vine. Um, what should I roll for that, if possible? Either grace or wits. I'm gonna use. If I'm this is use, mm. if this is like like a I have trained for this and it is my body taking over, then it is grace. If it is like yeah. I think I can chop this, then and you're using more of your brain of like an aiming kind of thing, then it would be wits. I'm gonna use grace because I think it is just a natural impulse to like oh threat ah hit. Okay. Uh, oof, that is a 14 on a grace of 10. Yeah, um, so the, this vine whip, it wraps around, you all see this vine whip wrap around your friend, Fern. Ooh, okay, um, I that coming. She takes, ooh, 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 four points of damage. <laughs> ah, ooh. thank um, goodness I had that little rest. And it is, yeah. like, like, wrapped around, it's got, it's got thorns and it is like digging ow, it, ow, just ow, tightening, ow, ow. digging into her. Mm, um, you have so definitely made uh, combat go here. Um, so everybody roll a uh, resolve for me. And if you beat your resolve roll, then you will go before the villain. And if you fail it, you will go after. 
five on under 12. Great. Yes. I get to go after the villain. Okie dokie. <laughs> That's okay. You you were the talker. You got us here. I understand. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you started yeah. the trouble, and now we're going to have to deal with it. That's okay. Now you're going to finish it. Yeah. yeah. And Fern, how was your resolve? Oh, sorry. I didn't know I had to roll. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my resolve, that is a meet 12 on 12. Okay. Um, so it'll be, uh, Rosemary will go first and then Fern, you will get an opportunity to try to do something back to our villain. And then Arabella will hopefully swoop in with daring heroics. Yes. <laughs> daring heroics. This is why you didn't get to go before. Cause you're setting it up. Obviously. Mm-hmm. This is- yeah. I mean, yeah. I was- Everything always works out for me, guys. I I don't... <laughs> oh, Arabella. That's her, yeah, that's her special power. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah it's my special ability that I just like am good at stuff. Just things work out in my favor. Um, it's every YN character in a Wattpad fan fiction. Yeah. That's Arabella. And that, I, love I mean, it. that's absolutely my my inspiration here. So. Love it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All um, right. So I get to go then, I guess, or yes. was it? Uh, all it right, I you. will. I will. I am quite an expert with my cooking knife. Yeah, as you would expect. So I will forthwith draw my cooking knife, which is a uh, beautiful uh, bone handle with a very thick, wide chef's blade on the mm. end of it. And this thing, this thing has gotten me through so much i mean we're talking cooking bacon cutting bacon sausages vegetable root vegetables just anything very real strong very strong and so i will approach this vine which really looks kind of like a sausage if you will (laughs) and uh, or perhaps some sort of if you sort of squint yeah a veggie sausage you know yeah exactly it's kind of like uh it's like an asparagus really yeah which are very woody and hard to get through if they are raw yeah, and I will put my fingers very carefully so that I don't cut myself and I'm in line with my knuckles. And then with one practiced downward slice, I am going to cut at this vine to try and uh, flee, uh, flee, free my friend Fern. Okay. That I believe mm, would be could, grace, I guess. Could Yeah, well, or it could be wits if you are targeting a specific spot. Because you know it's weaker, you know. Well, yeah, I think I think I would kind of look. I, I know that usually the joint is where you get those things. So if there's something that looks kind of like, I think I would do that. So that if you're giving me the opportunity, I'm giving you the option <laughs> to use my wits. Yeah. I will use my wits, and I will succeed with an eleven under thirteen. Oh, great. Um, okay, so how much damage does your? It's a D four. Great. Give me that D four. And I got three. Great. Um, hanging on by a thread. Uh, um, it yes. is it, like so close, but like, y- like it's like celery, like yeah. celery. Right? <laughs> you cut through it, there's always like, that little, little just like, that, one, that one thread. Not quite, yeah. Um, yeah, it is a, it's much like it's loosened around you now, Fern. Hmm. Um, like much easier for you to breathe, but you are still like entangled in it, and it is still attached, technically. Yeah. To Hold our on, friend. Fern. Hold on, Fern. We'll get you out of this mess. Ooh, I wanna. Fern's what's turn. the kind of pos- what's the positioning? Like, what's it? What what's the attachment from the vine to the creature? It's like coming out of its like chest cavity, and it's got four legs. Yeah. None of that. Can sounds I good. try? None of that. Too many legs. Not enough soul. Um. <laughs> Can I do something possibly very silly? I love it. That might not work. Can I try, if it's loosened a little bit, can I try and jump and drop and use the momentum of what's left hanging there to swing under it and try and like scoot underneath the four legged creature and like pull on whatever tether is? So you there? want to be on the other? Are you sliding underneath to the other side? Is that what you want? I want to kind of like flop on the ground almost like pull it with me and try mm. and slide under or mm-hmm. at least get it to the ground or like yeah try and get yeah. underneath it yeah so your your aim is to land under it yeah great give me a give me a grace roll change its oil 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to, I think it all goes according okay. to plan. I'm hoping that maybe the momentum will sever the cord because I don't think I can reach my hatchet from where I am right now. Okay. If you pull hard enough on it with my body weight and that get maybe it'll, it. Yeah, yeah. I'm maybe gonna, it'll keep... snap it or maybe it'll flip it over. I'm not sure what will happen. Heck yeah. Give me a. Okay. Grace. <laughs> Give me a grace. Oh, that is a sweet eight on a mm. 10. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. Um, you, you, fl- you, <laughs> there's a moment where you're like, I have an idea. And then you just like <laughs> just jump up <laughs> and like s- scoot and you, you end up, you, it snaps it. It snaps it off. Cool. Okay. But, but you are directly below him. Okay. And it is his turn. Yep. I'm going to just have the hatch. I think now, I've, now that I'm good, I'm just going to have the hatch a little closer to me. Okay. So hopefully I can try and either roll out of the way or let's so see what, he, my, what I can do as a reaction. He reached, He looks down at you and he like Hi. hinges his jaw. Oh, bad, 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 bad. And just like too many centipedes come out oh! and cover okay. you. Um, and uh, just like uh, death by a thousand cuts, you you take one more damage. Just I like have Rosemary's Rosemary's thing in my head. They're just enzymes. It's just part of the body. It's natural. It's okay. It's fine. They can't hurt me, <laughs> except the one point damage they do hurt me with. They just just one. Uh, and uh, Arabella, it is your turn now. Yes. Uh. Okay, so I would like to uh, try to do a downward stab through mm-hmm. the skull of the thing. Oh. Because uh, mm-hmm. really what I'm going for is that crown. I want to get that crown off of this skeleton. Okay. And um, if his head's looking at me and it's bent down. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, I guess I can stab forward. Um, do you want to so you middle? You want to stab because he is looking down, so you're looking to stab. Yeah, through, if he's looking down, I want to go through the through the crown, like Got through it. the center. Yeah. Got it. Yes. Okay. Uh, and full disclosure, I'm planning on using a special ability to do extra stuff after that. Can't but. wait. Give me a grace roll. All right. That's a six under thirteen. Wow. Woo-hoo. Well done. Um, we uh, so we didn't give. Mm, we did not give your your weapon. Um. Uh, damage, but I do think that oh. it is probably a. Do, do you have a sword? Do you have? I a have a D eight sword on my sheet already. Yeah. Okay, so I will say because this was a fancy one that you got for yourself that it not only is it a D eight, but it is also I think. I think that there's a there was a touch of magic operating in that mm-hmm. that place. Fancy. So it is it is an enchanted magic sword. sword. Um. So when you stab. Um. Because it is enchanted, you're gonna do that full that full damage. So when you roll your D8, uh-huh. it bypasses his armor. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, I got a five on the D8. Yeah. So you stab into his head, um, and you hear this like screeching, this like terrible, terrible screeching. Um, and, but the the crown is still on his head, and your sword is like stuck in it. But you you actually really... is fabulous for me. Great, then tell because you have something else you were going to do. I do. I have so pirouette is one of my special abilities, <laughs> which allows me to, in addition to my action, attempt an additional attack in the form of a spinning kick or acrobatic maneuver of my invention. Uh, so I would like to. Uh, Flip over him, oh, mm-hmm. yeah. and use his use the the sword that's jammed in his head to pull him off of Fern in like a big lever maneuver. Yeah, okay. Uh, if so, he gets hurt in the process, great. But more, I want to use this as the lever to like pull to, him off, to remove, and him. flip him backwards. Okay, so yeah, onto you his have back. two gift dice, and you have the opportunity should this grace test hit to use one or both of them. If you use both of them, you add them together instead of taking the higher one. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I might as well 
use both of them. Yeah. You know, we'll smoke them if you got them. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So I'm going to do the grace test to start and then 2d6 for the damage. Yes. Uh, yes. As long as it hits. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so that's a six under 13 again for the grace. Heck uh, yeah. Heck yeah. Uh, and I've got a total of seven on the 2d6. Woohoo! I gotta tell you that he had exactly seven left. <laughs> is he dead? So what ends up happening is you you stab in and sort of like parkour around and you l- leap off of the ground taking that that sword with you. And as you do, it like pings the end of the crown which separates it enough from his head and as soon as it is no longer touching mm-hmm. his head all of his bones crumble to dust um which means that your friend fern now has a, a mouthful of dead oh, dang it torture <laughs> I'm going to do a cool thing. Now i got bones in my mouth. Spit that out. Spit that out. Don't, don't swallow want, that. Don't want that. It's just a puff of just like ashen like cloud. Just... But now you have the crown and it is separated and you have defeated Velisar. <coughs> Did Amazing. you get your team? Oh, yeah. It's in my mouth. It's in my mouth. <laughs> Who I ate Do you have any more of that tea? <laughs> I, I start oh, baking a celebratory cake. Yay! <laughs> is there any, like, anything? I feel like oh, I need yeah, to like, get uh, some rage out. Here, uh, there... what I gave to uh, Arabella earlier, the brandy. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Get oh, yeah. some brandy. Thanks. Oh, oh that goes down nice. Good I'm job. also going Good to job. use um, one of my concoctions, which is a uh, tonic. That ends an ailment or cures injury, uh-huh. and I will uh, hand that over to uh, <sighs> to uh, Fern to heal her up. Heal yeah. Up. Oh, I was looking bad nice. for a minute there. Is there any like trophies nearby that uh, Fern can can pilfer? Because she was going to try and take a skull, but given that it is not disintegrated. So the when you turn around and the the throne has like also crumbled away, and oh, in okay. it there oh, is yeah. like. Quite a lot of shiny, fancy treasure. That's what it meant by shiny. The shinies. Oh. oh. Okay. Is the, is the crown cool. intact, by the way? The crown is intact. Yes. Yeah. I bet it feels like, like it's just on the end of my sword. <laughs> <laughs> Spin it around. Um, oh, man. Okay. I will say that was cool as heck. Scary as heck. But once it was like a physical thing, I felt like stronger for it. I don't know. It's just, it's, it's a lot easier to deal with things when they're like corporeal and real and you can punch mm-hmm. them. Yeah. Oh. I'm, Man, I'm so, so glad cool, that, guys. I'm so glad that you decided to come with. You, we, I couldn't have done it without uh, you. Dude, I couldn't oh, have done you know. it without you guys. You guys are amazing. Rosemary, we, we, that, you're a good team. That knife never, attack? never too many cooks in the kitchen. No. Oh God, that knife attack on the vine. Mm. Yeah, but compared to your spin, that that was some real Mulan oh. exercise. That was sick. You were like up in the air from what I could see. There were like centipedes in my eyes, but from what I could see, just a simple looked back, real cool. backflip. Everybody can do it if you practice. So you each Fern got... tries to do a backflip. <laughs> Fern tries to do a backflip. <laughs> yeah, you fall. You take eighteen we're gonna keep points practicing. of damage. Um, okay. roll, for, roll, roll for backflip. <laughs> um, so that, it was bad. there are a couple of things in here that uh, you each receive. Um, so Rosemary, you find a enchanted thimble cap. And <laughs> when you add it, it's constantly full, regardless of, of, of if you have poured it out or whatever. And when you take that as a little shot or you add it to tea, <laughs> um, you, uh, can clear conditions. You end weariness or end befuddlement, and you have an advantage on wits test for a day. Wow. Heck yes. Excellent. Um, Fern. Yes. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Hold on. Coming back to you, Fern. Oh, good. You are holding. Arabella, Spitting you find yourself a silver dagger. 
it does a d6 damage and it allows you to uh always choose between grace or resolve when you are attacking it is enchanted so it is coated with silver which means that it will work especially well against werewolves ghosts or other monsters resistant to normal weapons heck yes um and fern hello in the center of this is a little baby owl what are you doing here little dude get over here (gasps) guys look i got a pet and that's so good and he once per level per day can uh pinpoint the number of enemies in your area Ooh. hey you who's my little seeker who's my little seeker you're my little seeker i'm gonna pop so it just much. kind of he's gonna say look he, do the thing i can go like all the way around <laughs> it's yeah. just spinning 360 I'm his eyes are into, so big i don't why look at it's like check two dinner plates i'm gonna tuck it up um, underneath my my hood in the back of my hair so there's like a little warm spot for he him he like cuddles in and um goes to sleep oh he's so Ooh. cute oh my gosh Oh, that is so cool. What's uh, his name? What are you going to name him? Oh, man. And I feel like this should be like a group effort. Mm. What do you guys think? Like, get like a, like a team, a mascot. It could be like a mascot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Mm. I'm feeling, let's like placeholder seeker for now. Because that mm-hmm. sounds like kind of cool and powerful. And then name, we'll come yeah. back to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's asleep, but I'm sure he likes mm-hmm. it. Yeah, snoring softly because yeah. baby owls. I think we should check if he's got a name already. Oh, smart. Oh yeah. Oh, when he wakes up, I'll ask him. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, and then you also have the crown, that rosewood crown. Um, I yeah. think we should take this crown and bring it back to the town and place it on the head of the statue. That was my Pretty immediate sweet. first thought too. Yeah. Okay. If that statue turns into a princess. Oh my I God. We're having the best tea party wonder. ever. Right. Ooh, I'll prepare oh some more cupcakes. Gosh. Oh, quick. Oh, oh, uh, do yes. you know what they used to eat, eat 2000 years ago? Yeah. What was like the, what were the vibes there? Wouldn't want to like throw her off by, you know, well, I don't know, but the reason yeah. why I came to this town originally was to get a special spice that they only have here. It's called uh, not all spice. <laughs> <laughs> And I think perhaps if I make some not allspice muffins or cookies or cupcakes, I think that will probably be perfect. Yeah, right we don't home. like yeah. shock the flavor palette too extensively. Mm-hmm. Imagine so, if we bring it back to life only to kill her. Oh my gosh, embarrassing. God, right? It was so right. embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> so embarrassing. <laughs> to, yeah. to, to be asleep by magic for thousands of years only to die of natural causes. Oh gosh, that's just, Im- yeah. Oof. Oh, speaking of death by natural causes, we should probably go see if Marvin's killed those horses. Oh yeah, uh, yes. I, I, I think still if we leave Malone too long, it's is plump mango here. So and oh, we got to yeah, check hopefully. on that on the bird that you. Yeah. Yes. Oh my gosh, I made so many promises today. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we'll you you come out of the tree, and Marvin, who is the goodest boy, the the listen, the horses are fine. Marvin is surrounded oh, by goodness. corpses of giant bugs. <laughs> Marvin's my kind of mule. Yeah. Marvin, you little legend. He what did killed. you do? So what did did, you do? he's like, oh, are they attacking me? Oh, no. Can you take can you take this over? Oh yeah, yeah. So get get the oh gosh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I mean they just oh, came just it's so wet. boiling out it's of the so tree wet. and they were trying to eat the horses and then also eat me. And there was big it was bad. And like, I wanted to stab the horses, but I remembered that I was going to get that good fruit. And so instead, I killed all good the boy. bugs. Good boy. I'm a little put out that your only motivation to not kill the horses was food related, but I also respect it. So good and job. Most, you most of my motivations are food related. Yeah. I haven't talked to these horses. Marvin might be on the in the right here. <laughs> Yeah, what if they're like, actually, that's a good point. I didn't talk to them. I know I feel like I'm sorry, guys. Should I have, are you guys cool? Or are you, what's your deal? <laughs> Check in with them. Are they? They're very, yeah. um, I, I, they're very uppity. 
Yeah, you know, Mommy, it's a very point. spoopy day, I'm sure. Yeah, it's not yeah. been great. They were like, and then we had to come in here. The scary forest. There's no animals here. It's weird. And then these big bugs attacked us. I'm like, ugh. And but then we, this guy stepped in and saved your hides. He did. So while, we should all be while grateful. We were in the, while we were in the dungeon, Marvin was out here grinding level one mobs, and he's now like three <laughs> yeah, levels right. higher than yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, he's yeah. studied the blade, and it's now he he's a, a he mastered that blade. It's amazing. Yeah. We find out I, I this is actually the fruit. big bad. I will give him his fruit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, uh, he eats it with gusto. Good, I feel bad. I never got around to actually teaching him any moves. He clearly made up some of his own. Boy. Yeah. Oh yeah, now he's supposed to be reckoned with. This is just, a war meal now. Just need to improvise. That's all. This is what, uh -huh. this is what we do. <laughs> that's, that's how we all start. Yeah. That's right. You know, self talk. Uh, so he's self talk. The he's the darkness he's is savant. lifting around where you are at, um, and that <gasps> feeling of like uh, anxiety and terror that was so deeply rooted in all of you is is basically it's gone now. It's it's lifted, oh. and um. Some animals are starting to come back oh, to finally. the forest. Um, it's not weird and quiet anymore. There is sunlight. It's doing good. Like, we're doing okay. Um, we and... uncreepified the creepy forest. Yeah. Um, you find it's just that... the forest now. It's just the forest. Yeah. Just the regular forest. Um, the, the forest formerly known as Spooky um <laughs> is now is now it's now good and you, brackets not creepy on right. brackets just regular <laughs> just re regular i promise um and the when you come out of the tree it's sort of like size and shrinks down a bit um and just like looks much healthier um i hope that giant uh cicada is okay in there yeah, I was just thinking that. I, was, I hope that's all right. You think? Do you think it shrunk down too? <laughs> Could be. Um, just screaming. So, how are you? It also occurs to me we didn't collect the extra treasure for the town's pilk, which we probably should have done. Whoopsie. I can say you did. That's fine. All right, so we just got like a We've bed roll full of yeah. loose yeah, treasure. Yeah. I, I I I sacrificed a few things and made some rooms, uh, some room in one of the picnic baskets, and we got. That's nice. Well, you guys Burns did actually you did a little bit, like you know, now, yeah. with a giant yeah. pack on her back. She's fine. I've got it all. I got it. I got it. Um. So, how are you transporting the crown? Then is it in with the treasure? Is it? Are you, is someone wearing it? Is it just like? Are you holding it? How is how is that one going? It it feels tempting to put on the crown, but I feel like it's. I mean, it's none of ours for sure. Yeah. Mm, oh yeah, I'm not. The is not touching that thing. Okay. The last thing I need is a different kingdom all the way out here. <laughs> if, it's, if this is like one of those magical things where like, oh, now you have to be in charge. Right. Regardless of your qualifications. I signed no contracts. I saw no signatures. I did not volunteer for this. I'll take a nice piece of uh, cheesecloth and just wrap it. Wrap it. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay. So you, um, without incident really you make it back you have found that bird it is able to leave but now doesn't necessarily feel like it needs to so there's um you know some bird bird stuff uh coming back to the forest you make it out make it back to the town um and there's just like a, a the crops that field that you had knew was all rotted and everything uh is is lush again everything is is going well um and you make it to the statue uh, and that statue, her face looks different, looks maybe happy, maybe content. Um, it's definitely it's the nice. same statue, but it looks a little. I swear if that thing comes to life better. too, I'm going to freak out in real life. Oh, don't be so dramatic, Fern. It's just <laughs> a statue and I'm going to unwrap the crown Let's... and then. What if we set Take the expectation faces. that it will come to life, and then if it doesn't, we'll all just be like, oh, okay. Ah, we'll be bummer. disappointed. Yeah. If it does be come to life, we'll panic. No, so the thing to do is you want to 
set the expectations low. So if someone's baking your dish, you'd be like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll, it'll probably be okay. And then if it's great, it's, it's fantastic. There's nothing more disappointing than biting into something you think is going to be so succulent. And then it turns out to be really just That's like- That's fair. That's fair. Okay. So we're so setting the expectation that this gonna is happen. just a good place gonna happen. to leave yeah. it. Symbolic. This it's is a symbolic. symbolic. Yeah. 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 Okay. We're okay. so cool. The statue's so cool. We have a crown. I'll let um, you guys do the honors on that one. No, Fern, I think you should. You are the one who suffered the most in getting this and your life was put in danger. And uh, just spits out of a glum of like a skeleton ash. <laughs> I think you should what? be the one to place it on her head and give I you the that so heavily. Uh, are you sure we gotta kind of like hold it together and uh oh, I just can put give the you crown a boost up. if you if you need like a boost. <sighs> For the sake of teamwork, let's do that. I like that. It's just it's like we're all doing it together. Okay, excuse me. Sorry, coming up. Don't mind me. Go right. on. Oh, yep. oh, 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 God. There we go. Okay. okay. Yep. Oh, so graceful. <laughs> Can I sit, like, on the statue's shoulders? Like, it's giving me a piggyback ride? Absolutely. But it's, like, kicking her little legs out and, like, puts the little crown <laughs> on, top of the, on top of the statue. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. What a lovely song. Uh, you set it down <laughs> and the... The crown itself starts glowing <laughs> and and there's this like pulse of energy that <laughs> comes out from the crown uh, and the statue and like goes through the surrounding area. Um, oh, Fern, your organs. <laughs> yeah. No, I got radiation poison. Didn't, didn't hurt you. Didn't hurt you. <laughs> all, all good. We're all clear. Quick. How many limbs do I have? <laughs> the right amount? Eight. Good. Yeah, what? Yeah. Same as... <laughs> Just just enough limbs and a lot of soul. <laughs> just enough limbs. A lot of soul. Yeah. So you um and the 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 crown is like gently pulsing. And the townspeople are kind of coming out to see what's going on. Um you had gotten back sort of in the middle of the night, uh, and so everyone was asleep. And da, 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 da. we're gonna check. We're gonna check our ha happily ever after because that is where we're at. We're at our happily ever after. Oh, um, nice! And the all in like real life. The <laughs> the actual um, <laughs> the swordsmith that you talked to earlier uh, is being pushed forward He's by the prince. townspeople. Uh, she is is a descendant of that original princess mm. but there was never a crown um so uh she takes the crown and and puts it on and has become princess and protector of this land um the rosewood crown if any of you had decided to put it on allows you to speak with trees it's Ooh. one of the Aww. things that it that it does is a very very woodsy but plant based kind of mm. thing. Um, she thanks you profusely. Tells you that you are welcome here anytime. You always have a place. Um, and uh, in the background, the the trees and the and nature is like rebuilding the palace. Um. Like it's it's nature oh. is is turning it back into its former glory. Oh. Good job, gang. You've all earned these special cupcakes that I made for you with a oh, little, hey. uh, yeah, see, there's like a little tree there, and then Aww. that's us over here with an, oh, and that's Marvin over here that's with a pile so of dead. Cool. Oh, with a pile of dead. Like these? <laughs> these exactly. little cupcakes? Yeah. With little uh, trees? Yep. How we handy that I happen to have some. We have props. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How did you do the filling? <laughs> yeah. Oh, ask, gosh. Don't ask what the filling is. Um, <laughs> It's so realistic. Super high in protein. Uh, <laughs> the, um, Fuck. Don't want to worry about it. There it is. Ah, oh, there it is. Well, it well time. Be well Australian. Time. <laughs> Take that stereotypes. Uh, That's right. The Canadian. The, the one that's supposed the to be Canadian. the most polite the one. Yeah, exactly. One. Uh, I, what do you think you each get a little, uh, epilogue? What do you think your character, what is happily ever after for this story for the three of you? Ooh, I think Fern probably would have wanted to stick around, but has discovered that there is courage to be found in facing fears. 
And mm. I think is now like going out to do more regular patrols of areas she might have avoided in the uh, in, in the interest of protecting the local wildlife. That's so wonderful. I mean, and you have you have your little friend who can tell you where. The and bad I got guys my are. beautiful, my little, my little owl boy. Yeah. I think that um, Rosemary has now become um, quite aware of the difficulties that some people have uh, with their digestive system. And so mm -hmm. I think uh, Rosemary is going <laughs> to dedicate her life, uh, at least for the foreseeable future, to uh, creating foods that are easier to digest, that uh, help uh, cleanse the system and help keep things. So she's basically going to become a high fiber kind of Love it. Uh, <laughs> you know, baker and, and, and cook and sort of push that Sneaky maybe. Brand. Yeah, maybe get into also, uh, you know, a specialized food for people with celiacs, things like that, you know, oh, just like yeah. helping people. Who, Aware uh, of allergens and things. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know, like uh, non-dairy milks, things of that nature. Like she's going to start her whole new brand. Um, it's going to be like all these things, like all the foods it. that you can't have. Well, no, womp, womp. I was bracing for a pun name in the in your new brand. Oh, Mm, I should have. Give him a second. Right. <laughs> Give him a moment. You think about it while we find out what's going on with Arabella. It's going to be we'll... called New Food. There it is. New Food. There it new is. Food. Uh, yeah. I think Arabella is true to her, her nature, just sort of like real stoked to have another new friend. Um, and being that I am from a, a, a seafaring nation, I think this is a good trade opportunity. Hmm. So we're going to make sure that the goods from uh, from this village uh, are able to get out to the rest of the world and get, you know, get put onto ships and sailed around. And all the all the really awesome swords from that swordsmith uh, get get the audience they deserve. Cool. Princess swordsmith. Turns out. Heck yeah. I was hoping I was hoping. Um. Right. Well, oh, I'll um, tell them that story, by the way, everybody yeah. who was like, oh, yeah, tell me the story when you don't die. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let me tell you a tale. Listen, Let they all want to hear it. And they they come out and you are well stocked with with mead and ale and anything that you would like. Um, at, and they I'm going to say uh, every year you are invited back for the celebration of Ooh. the coronation. Of, of what has happened here. So you are and given free rooms at the palace to come in and, and join in the celebration. <gasps> Very nice. Um, which I got to tell you, the it takes a, some getting used to this palace because it is absolutely um, just made of trees. It is just like, <laughs> uh, it is formed. They have grown into what is needed. Um, it's just a, it's just a little strange and sometimes when the princess walks through with the crown on it like does shift far faster and things grow faster than they are supposed to so it just takes a minute every so often for you to be like oh that is now a table that's okay definitely okay. didn't think that was gonna happen um so uh that Don't was... walk through in the dark yeah, no yeah it's a lot of tripping and just eating a lot and, yeah well, every time in, in general there's a lot of, of roots and things that just sort of seek things out um uh that was perils and princesses thank you so much for playing with me uh i would love to to do our little moments of gratitude what did your fellow players do that you would like to call out as as cool or clutch or funny or whatever I got to say, first up, like my face hurts from smiling so much. Like my <laughs> cheeks, my cheeks feel so pinched. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness gracious me. I, honestly, it's hard to like nail down specific points because it was just so much fun. Like the role play was just so good. Just like in it from the get go. Yeah, we started everyone strong. Knew, yeah. Yeah. Everyone knew who they were. I can't like... Clutch moments, obviously, like Arabella's sick, like stabbed through the, the head and the cool like flip over. That was so cool. But like pulling the tea leaves out for a reading, oh. like that was so clever. Very good. Very just good. Had it ready to go. And like so perfectly. I didn't feel like it was like shoehorned in. It was just so natural. Of course, Rosemary's going to do that. She's a genius. Like, oh, it's just, I love it. Mwah. Delicious. The, the calm center. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I will say that uh, it's hard to uh, 
uh, go around the uh, the clutch moment of the spin and all that. Uh, but I, I thought that that was so perfectly fitting for that character that we have described from the beginning is very acrobatic and doing all that. So it felt like it was perfect for that. Um, with Fern, it was just that energy constantly, like, you know, keeping things, uh, keep keeping us kind of motivated and up. And even when you were like, try not to go, like just the, 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 the sort of... Uh, <laughs> You know that the energy, right? The energy, that emotion that, that you were constantly bringing to the scene and stuff that was great. And and Sarah, I really enjoyed the fact that you were super willing to roll with everything, yeah. uh, making allowances <laughs> for all. And uh, really, um, Marvin, Marvin was a, a gem. Marvin. I love Marvin the way you you spoke. That was so yeah. good. Totally, that was beautiful. So good. I think I'll, Marvin I'll is going to have his, his old his his own adventure. He's he's going to mm. get a spin off oh. series because yeah. I think he is now. It's awakened the hero, the heroism in him. Well, you know, you know what we need to up. do for him. We need to get a nice scabbard made for him so that he can oh. just sheath his his blade. Yeah, and, and yes. it. Or like a like a rope that hangs around his yeah, neck. Exactly. So can, just drops yeah, exactly. It looks like yeah, he looks like Flavor yeah. Flav with his huge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love it, Marvin Marv, just heading out Marvin into the world. <laughs> he's just a little guy solving crime, doing crime. I don't know what he's up to. Solving crime and spitting rhymes. Oh man! <laughs> and his rap career, I believe, is well, how he. Well, been a great game, guys. I gotta leave here. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, so uh, good. I, I also want to uh, compliment you, Sarah, on your oh, just, consistent willingness yeah. to roll with whatever nonsense we came up with. <laughs> That's nonsense. Uh, I'm certain we didn't need to make two stops on the way out of town, and I really appreciate you <laughs> you allowing us to stop. I didn't think we were going to make any stops on the way out of town, but I'm with you. I was like, <laughs> let's do this. Hey, if we're going to do it, then we're going to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down. Like that's it. And there. I realized I didn't say anything about you, Sarah. I'm so sorry. I okay. yeah, no, like you're just willingness to like go along with our crazy, but also to still make it part of the story and not feel like there is like we, it feels like you really can do anything the way you tell stories you have such this this amazing grasp of like narrative structure where it doesn't feel like there's a script you're working to but it also works so perfectly that i'd believe it if it was like it's just you just have such such a grasp of like how to tell a compelling story that feels like it really could go any which way oh i really appreciate that i just want i always say i just want to run the game that the table wants to play and so i think it's important and like did we have to do the stops in town no could have done the story without of it but like that's where we were going and that's where everybody wanted to go and i i try so hard at the table to never tell people like no no we're not we're not we wouldn't have had marvin we yeah. wouldn't, have, wouldn't had have had marvin, marvin. Yeah. wouldn't have got marvin the best the, the true hero of the story. Yeah, really. I mean, you guys were yeah, good. It's but his like, story. I think like you guys were the B plot and Marvin's yes. are. This is oh, Marvin's, this was Marvin's origin story. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. These we had, things like, fighting a skeleton. Yeah. We had a couple <laughs> mildly uh, harrowing situations. Marvin like ground, like, like you were saying, was grinding through mobs. Grinding XP at the door. Yeah. What a, what a harrowing own. experience. On his own. Just with very with unhelpful sword. horses. They weren't helping at all. And yeah, he had to protect those kicking. four useless um, horses. Useless. You're right. It really was his journey. We what? were just there for, to, to facilitate it. And I'm. that's fine. That works so <laughs> we well. We were already I, heroes. He you became were, a hero. Yeah. yeah, that's right. I mean, maybe so right. that's, maybe he found his inner princess on this. Yeah. yeah. He is Princess uh, Marvin. Uh, Fern, uh, uh, sorry, Gemma, I really just... Uh, I want to echo uh, Bleak's uh, compliment on your energy. So you, uh, you gave <laughs> you gave momentum and heart to mm -hmm. every scene we were in. Your your fear moments were great. Your resolve moments were great. Like way to externalize that in a useful way that oh, also gave you. space for the rest of us to work. Like, yeah, you, you you did it in a way that didn't take over the scene, but complemented and and contributed energy in a solid way and i that is that is a hard thing to find and i really appreciate your capacity for it oh thank you uh, it's, it's really fun <laughs> yeah and, and bleak i want to compliment you on being su so supportive like so supportive for real well, no because 
Uh, I know I, I I have an inside line that Bleak is also a GM and as yeah. a fellow GM, uh, I know how we tend to get into the mode where we're like, okay, I want to make sure everybody in the scene gets a moment to do their thing. And you were doing that alongside Sarah in so many <laughs> moments, like throwing it to the other people, giving us the, you know, the right openings and moments and pointing out opportunities. And that was delightful to have in a teammate as well uh, so, thank you yeah great absolutely what a wonderful group it was just really lovely and i felt like everybody was so uh generous with with role playing and and building off of each other and also like it's just so lovely as a gm to have your players all like you were locked in from jump about who each of these characters were and they were wildly different from each other but in a way that like just sort of and this is a thing i think that happens on sarah's table a lot because i'm like everybody should be loving each other that like i felt like the three of them were like genuinely cared about each other and there was a couple of like no i have an i have an extra cookie for fern because i know that she gets nervous and this is uh the best way to to happen and like oh we should let her this is a good time for me to compliment this other person because i know they're probably not feeling great about themselves and this is you know like you 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 worked as a trio like you had been adventuring together for a long time. You just like slid into everybody's role was clear and everybody cared about each other. And like, that is uh, all that I want ever at a table is <laughs> like <laughs> clear relationships and, and clear, clear personification and, and just like <laughs> fun. I felt like we had a really good time today and I really appreciate that you're all here. Absolutely. This flew by. Like yeah. I, bl- I feel like I blinked and we're here. Yeah, it was longer than I anticipated because it just was a fun story and I didn't want to stop. So <laughs> it was definitely a lot of fun. That's thank you so much for time. the invite and thank yeah. you for the wonderful group. Yeah, yeah you're also we'd love amazing. to have you all back at some point and perhaps Anytime. the three of you will take turns playing Marvin. Maybe it'll be a, I was like a to new... tell Marvin's story. To story or tell Marvin's story. Um uh, but I would, before we go, I would love to have you guys uh, tell us where we can find you on the internet and if you have anything coming up. Um, I'm going to, let's let's go backwards order from before. So, um, Jenna, where can we find you? Who who are you? What you got coming up? Hello, I have been Fern, the sometimes uh, anxious, but always overconfident in her actions. Uh, little, little, I guess, druid. I guess she's a druid. Yeah. Um, you can find me uh, on all the social medias at G of D. Uh, I'm also streaming on Twitch, doing a lot of Baldur's Gate and Cyberpunk 2077, uh, the games that own my heart at the moment. I uh, can catch me. Oh uh, yeah, on all social medias, fawning over fictional characters and the morally gray heroes and villains doomed to break our hearts forever and always. Love it. Breaking hearts. You can also catch me on YouTube where I just made these cupcakes. Yeah. Hey. I'm doing now. Don't ask me why I decided to do cooking videos, but here we are. Because sometimes you gotta. I'm trying to beat my perfectionist tendencies by doing things a little bit slapdashery. Oh. Uh, it is actually helping to film it oh. all. So yeah. That's awesome. Well, go everybody, go watch that. <laughs> Thank I'm you. on it. I'm, I'm watching it right now. I bet you we're, <laughs> we're we're very busy. Uh, Christian, Is that sugar? <laughs> Dutch cup. So much. Mm. Hopefully, All the sugar. Actually, hopefully, it was this. made with sugar. Could have been well, it could have been it could have been salt, but I'm um, you know slapdashery. What are they freaking? <laughs> hey! It's on camera. Nobody has to know. Exactly. It, it could have been salt. They're not edible. But you're not the salt of the edge. You're it's not Sarah. the salt of the edge. It's true. Get ready for my new my new line of embroidered cushions <laughs> with quotes from today's episode. To cut. There can be just like a hundred of them. Mm. <laughs> so much material to work with. Um, Christian, where can we find you? Uh, yeah, you can find me pretty much uh, everywhere as Bleak Season or the Bleak Season, but I mostly stream on my channel Folk and Myth, uh, all in one word, uh, Folk and Myth, where we run uh, i run a vampire game that's starting next friday uh it's gonna be a regular vampire to masquerade game every friday night at 9 p.m eastern and we also have a homebrew dnd 5e that my friend miko is running on wednesday it's called Estera. that's at 8 30 p.m um and uh, we do you know one shots other things like that and you can uh, check out our website which is uh folkandmyth.com 
And of course on YouTube also. So pretty much anywhere it's a spoken myth or bleak season. And that's me. Thank you so much for having me. Type it into everything. Dating apps. Just look yep, for it. Exactly. A, a grinder, just the bleak season. <laughs> mm-hmm. You get a very specific gr- uh, response rate. Very yeah, specific. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. But we're catering to a certain audience. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Know your crowd, know your crowd. My crowd, my people. (laughs) (laughs) My bleak people. Um, What about you, Ansel? What you got going on? Oh, sorry. Goddamn. I was so Uh, shocked. Oh, God. (laughs) Just edit that bit out. Start here. Yeah, no, totally. (laughs) uh, I am uh, am indecisionist or the indecisionist on social medias all over the place. Uh, Most of the meta ones and... even X. I'm still on X. Not doing much, but I'm I there. I shall always call it Twitter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Good. As well we should. It's X is much stupid. like the Sears Tower I was going to say, it's very Chicago of me to be like, no, <laughs> it's still Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I am, I run a monthly online gaming event called TTRPG Pickup Con. And uh, it is a totally free event available to everyone in the world. Uh, we have game runners from places like Australia and Europe and the U.S. and elsewhere. Um, <laughs> other countries. The most, other ones. <laughs> mostly those areas. I, I'm still I really I want to get some some Asian representation. Mm. Uh, the, the Asian time zone is currently being held entirely by Australia, as near as I can tell. Uh, but yeah, it's a it's a great event and signups actually opened up yesterday. So uh, yesterday time of filming. Uh, so for those of you watching the stream, uh, there are probably still a couple seats left if you check it out this month. Otherwise, we'll run it again in February and so on and so forth every single month. Totally free. Pick up a new game, meet some new friends, have a good time. That's what we're here for. Uh, and that's at TTRPGPickupCon.com. Uh, I'm also playtesting a game that I hope to have ready in time for Gen Con this year. Uh, it's called Mavericks. That's the working title, and it is available. Ooh. The beta version is available on itch.io already, um, and I'm going to keep updating that as we go in in advance of arrival at Gen Con. What am I going to do with it, Gen Con? I don't know yet. We'll see where we are Some. closer to. Uh, but hopefully I'll have it to buy or play or exhibit or something. Uh, but yeah, so that's Mavericks uh, on itch.io, and you can find me at Indecisionist there too. Woo! That's what I got to plug. Awesome. Um, uh, my name is Sarah Moore. You can find me all over the internet at Pixies and Pins, and my website is pixiesandpins.com. You can find me here every Friday night uh, and Gen Con TV for Sarah's Table. Next Friday, I am playing uh, a game called Sentai and Sensibility, which is a brand new game that Ooh. is being kickstarted um, by mm-hmm. my good friends over at Ninth Level Games. Um, it's part of their polymorph system. And um, it is like, you know, it's like it's like giant robots and um, oh. Jane Austen. So we're going to... Wait, wait, my wait. My two what? favorite <laughs> concepts we're gonna, put together, finally. We're going to do now. that. Um, uh, um, Sarah, um... Yeah. I'm a literature professor and that just broke my brain. Yeah. Well, <laughs> get it put on the cushion, get the cushion ready. <laughs> the cushion, cushion. Yeah, I'm really excited I about it. it. It's it's going to be great. Um it was designed by um my friend Bug and we're going to play it and I can't wait. Um That's amazing. And, and then um you know I have some other fun stuff uh coming up in in the near future. We're definitely we're so close to having my game The Crown all done and ready to be released. Mm. And so we are uh I'm going to do an arc when it is available for purchase, probably three or four session arc. And then also my partner wrote a game called The Vanishing Lands and it is also just like probably weeks away from being able to be released um, for Ooh. publishing and so Exciting. we are going to also do a, an arc of that. It'll be great. Um, so keep coming back here and if you at home make a game contact me on one of my socials and like let me know because I am always looking for fun uh, small publisher indie games um did they can be at, as small or as big as you want, but make sure that I know I would love to represent you. Um, I would like to thank all of you for being here at my table today. It was truly a joy and I cannot wait to make you come back 
Um, who knows what you'll be playing next time, but just click on whatever link that I send you <laughs> and it'll be fine. This game was a lot of fun. Man, if you're into like these uh, types of uh, easy light games with uh, that, that, that fairy tale twist, I certainly yeah. recommend it. So good. Love it. For sure. Um, and and it's, I, I and love it's your ability to collect princess games, Sarah, oh, yeah. especially. I can't listen. It's a skill. It's a talent. Yeah, it is. Um, I'm just going to keep doing it forever. Mm-hmm. Um, and, Let your inside princess shine. I say, I'm, she's outside. <laughs> she's outside now. I, I, I can't I can't hide her. Um, yeah, I uh, just come, on, come over here for a dose of joy. Uh, also, I would like to thank the team over at Gen Con TV, um, Peter Atkinson, for giving me this platform, um, Marcus Mays, for being our tech there at Gen Con TV, making sure we're running smoothly. Uh, Tanel Lovett, who makes my beautiful, adorable thumbnail every week, um, which is the cutest version of me that you've ever seen, ever. It's a little chibi Sarah um, playing some kind of game at a table. And then uh, also I would like to thank my partner, Jeff, for being my... uh, Hmm. personal tech support um but also my editor for the show and doing his darndest to help me stay a same human being ah, we'll see <laughs> how that's going relative. um relatively relatively um <laughs> yeah we're all we're all doing good um but i also want to thank everybody at home for hanging out with me it is because you keep watching that i keep, get to keep doing this so um I, I'm going to say it again. Last year, I ran 35 different systems. Um, and so w- w- who knows Who knows what we're going to do wow. this year? But um, it's going to be a lot of games. So um, check out all those back episodes if you want on, on our YouTube. And uh, as always, keep making art and keep being art. We'll see you next time. <laughs>